Hello everyone! This is my playthrough with some commentary. If you don't like commentary, you can always unmute Schmidt. or you can just Please watch the version without me talking. Right away. I have no idea where exactly that is. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere, I guess. Transport and accommodation have been arranged for you already. You were staying at the pub, which is near the church somewhere. In these villages, in the end, everything is close to the church. Find the church and you will find the rest as well. Anyway, Mr. Griesbacher, the mayor there, is informed. Your task in the village is merely to complete your colleagues' reports. So to be clear, you collect information on the living conditions, wishes and complaints of the village people. Meaning you basically walk around, asking people about the living situation, write it down and report it. I would advise you not to show your face in the city before you found out every detail about the people in that place. And I don't want to hear a single complaint, Schmidt. Signed, Holler. Okay, so yeah, we are at Bavaria because if that's the title of the game. Um, and we are going to look for the church because almost all German cities are around the church. Alright, there's a lantern and it has no function at all, which is great, but it can light up. So that's awesome. Okay, I'm just collecting some random mushrooms here and there. Um, yes, I can see another one on the road as well. Just collecting everything. Well, the church is in front, but of course I go left because that makes total sense. And there we have the boy. The boy with the name Young. <laughs> so that's super random. I... Uh... I collect schwammel. Yes, he collects you mushrooms. You can say that again. I guess they are a little bit of a drug. Oh. I don't know, but he's very oh, addicted no to there. it. I'd rather stay outside. Here you can always discover things that you can't explain. I guess this time Just we now, are kind of talking a, bird a bit about the leaves and religion. Which is kind and of randomly you know mumbling about a Now worm I'm curious to hear stuff. what you have to say. Yeah, I guess this is just the natural cycle of life, boy. There are things in life so, that are just very natural. Like that. Yeah, he doesn't believe me. Why it has now hit this particular worm? That was a very Who sad worm. That? Yeah, it all happened randomly. That's my personal opinion, that. but uh, somehow could have I been religion. It's fine. But would you also like to collect some mushrooms for me? Of course, there are people I want here who say delicious that they have mushrooms. secret powers. The mushrooms, not the people. I think ten mushrooms are a good start. Okay, this is the first fetch quest. Oh, and listen, he really loves fetch quests. To be father, honest, please don't tell him that I'm but here. This is a good start I of the game to, to just have again. a few small fetch quests. Okay, because then I'm just obliged to just search around for random stuff and pick up and I pick up anything well at a certain moment I stop but <laughs> as long as I think that it makes sense I'm just picking everything so first I ignore the people because I still want to find and pick up everything that I can see makes total sense that's how I <laughs> I have my social life as well no <laughs> so let's check do I have 10 mushrooms? In my mind I have 2 plus 8 or 10 mushrooms. Okay, this random barrel is in my way, in of course. It's quite simple. You just and have to now we a have the explanation of how the game works. But just go ahead and try it. I will explain everything else in the game. So we are throwing a D20. So this makes me think about there DB, you go. of course. Like I guess everyone. But if you have a lower score, you can compensate. Just use the appropriate but skill. With extra if you run out of skill points, well, then you points have on your dice. Well, lost. Ooh, D20. Can can the barrel explode? <laughs> That's maybe not happening. Okay. So nothing happens with the barrel because there are guards in the way. Well, guards. They're talking so loud, so they would not notice at all. But never mind. Okay. Who could that be? For Christ's sake! Do you think that's him? 
Yes, of course, Did it's you me. you all of a sudden? Have you ever seen him before, that guy Pascolini? Does he come to your okay, place to play cards mean. or what? Better once too careful than once too reckless. Okay, so it's talking nah, about a murder, I Pascolini, I which I am not, and they are not going Stop it to with your let stupid me dice. in. Which is very You're always nagging me about it. Do but, you want to get yeah, on his nerves just, too? Well, to start the tutorial. I would always roll the dice with anyone. Would you like to play around? Yeah, of course I can play some Don't dice worry, with you. Don't worry, the rules are really easy. Sure. Uh, I have different kind of abilities, like gut feeling. I think it's a gut or a butt, but I guess it's a gut feeling. And I, oof, I feel I'm going to fail. Yes, I failed that one. Enough of this nonsense. We are on duty here. What do you want here anyway? Well, I am Schmidt, and I'm going to report all your no, issues we can't in do that town. Now. No one gets in or out of here. Not even you. This is an order from Mayor Griesbacher. But I was called by Are Mayor Griesbacher. Are hearing Griesbach. problems common in the it's city? A bit of we can't let you in. There, Come back okay. another time. There's nothing That's we fine. can I do about do it now. another fetch quest. Uh, Bertel, he says he's not a robber at no, all. No, I'm not a robber. You be quiet now. What kind of normal person creeps around in the forest like that? We don't know anything about him. He okay, just comes starting harsh, along. So I Neither of us I know him. That's why he won't get in. We don't play dice anymore either. So listen to me carefully. Oh, and um, yes, I'm selecting them. <laughs> just a thought, but what if he's really from the government? Even if I don't bloody care. But I am, and you should care because, well, I'm from the government. Okay, well, just go back to little boy, the young boy, and tell him all my observations. Yeah. So, yo, I have all your mushrooms. I think I have all your mushrooms. Let me see what you got. iPhone 8 plus 2 is 10, but let's get more With a very strong mushrooms. diversionary maneuver, and then sneak past. Yes, okay, we you are going to sneak past the guards. That you can use to distract the guards. And I need Go to find out how. see if you can eavesdrop on the guards. Secretly, of course. Yes, very secret. In the open. There's a way in over Ooh. there. I also have a key for the gate. The miller must have left it in the door, so I took it. He was just unlucky. But you are lucky. Yes, At the I'm end super of the park, lucky. You come to a left by the key. bridge. There is, the for gate. example, a great bush to hide in and eavesdrop on the guards. Come back when you've achieved something. Good luck. Okay. I like the way how my character is like also rubbing his head like what the hell, this is kind of super strange. Okay, there is some random crafting table. I can craft a lantern, but I don't use a lantern and it's also not very useful. Okay. Let's... Take the mushroom, of course, and a pretzel, yes, awesome. And then we are going to use the voice key. Open the little thing, oh, opening stuff is always hard. Yes, I did it. I can, oh, there's a lot of explanation. I don't even need to think about what to do. That's fine. Okay, E for E, surfing. Ernst, I think that the Pascolini gang is really hiding in the forest. You think they moved from Dachauer Moos all the way to Wolpertshofen? But there's nothing to get here, is there? Well, you know those shady bandits. They'll cut your throat for a penny. Don Isel told me that Pascolini once cut off a man's head with a can simply because he was standing in his way. Doesn't matter. I still don't want to get caught by Pascolini. Yes, 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 you are right. There are better things than getting a beating from some crooks. Some crooks. Well, I really like the narrated uh, English in a way that is so very German-like. So there are super weird words used in this uh, game, and that I was like, okay, this is also English, sure, <laughs> if you think so. Okay, uh, more mushrooms, and we are going to collect the mushrooms. Well, give away the mushrooms. Let me see what you got. Yes. Great. Real splendid schwammerl. Yes. Now you're getting... And do you know what the best thing <laughs> is? Just go wild with schwammerl your schwammerl. I don't know. 
When I eat schwammel, I always feel better right away. Mm -hmm. Why don't you try of it later? Of course. And what you should also try is the Ooh, mushroom ragu from Kati in the Inn. It's delicious, I tell you. You will be but amazed. In most games, mushrooms are toxic, so I didn't felt like it. But oh yes, the Pascal I wins. went level up. That gang puts brown so stains in the pants of some in this town. You know what I mean. <laughs> Mm, yeah. I also I'm remember sure that I recently mean. found a piece of paper with Pascolini on it. Uh, so it's still I here need somewhere. to find a paper. I'm sure there's some information so there's on it that we can use. of another game mechanic in this but game and that's sure concentrating. And Please take a look around. It gives away like in carefully. the easiest way. I'm going to find a paper very which is carefully. literally next to me. But it's the it's, last time I saw it, I was standing to over there by the, the mechanic. That's all I remember. Stand over there. Maybe you'll be lucky and find it. Yeah, so it even if you find it, points bring me it to me. the place, so I don't need to As think at all, you, which is great for a tutorial, I guess. They're delicious and will um, certainly help with the search. Yes. And I guess, yeah, just turn, go to the It race, should be here somewhere. And, well, Pay even, attention to colors and no. Great! There is the wanted poster. How excited he is, that's lovely. Okay, I was a bit confused because I just pressed the wrong button. Oh well. So, here is the paper, little boy. Yeah, great. Then take a look at the note. I'm sure that we can find something we can use to drive the guards away. Yes, we can. We just look at the paper, see if there are some weird information in or just some details we missed. And the inventory. Sometimes I it. follow the lines with my finger. That helps yeah, me. I follow first. I thought that I just need to follow the lines with the finger, but I just need to press there F, which is also uh, almost the same. Okay, I don't need to remember this because basically my conversations are very uh, easy to know if I have the information or not. Perfect. I have so, an idea right away. Yeah. Okay. Now, I, I guess there will be the new search quest them. because then we they'll need probably to run away and you can sneak into the village find other stuff seen. before but we can enter the city or village, basically. I think I can manage with a few sticks. Four sticks of course, a few That's very not so hard easy. to find sticks. I need nice sticks. They have to withstand something, not windy twigs. I'm sure you will find some good wood at the mill. Of course, okay, you have so to be careful that the guards don't catch you. And we need to... The gate is broken, but if you kick yeah, it probably use the gate. once in the middle at the bottom, it opens. Down by the water, a path leads along, where many bushes grow with beautiful blossoms. It's a great place to hide. Yeah, so there now the hiding will be everywhere. explained again. We One did a little bit a of hiding dog. when we were listening to the guards, but that was not really hiding. I'm to be honest, I didn't really hide a lot in this game, uh, but if. you <laughs> can. Again, Don't you have well, I guess right, but this conversation is a first. bit random. If you need another one later, feel free to come back. I always have some with me for hard times. Yes, I want more pretzels. I think pretzels are really cool. It makes it very unique in that uh, way. Okay, so let's check this area with a lot of trees, if there is some stick. And yes, we can notice like some moment that we can focus, because of course we have no clue where there are the right sticks. Because we are in the forest and stuff. Okay, that's one. Another one. Let's see, I can hear it. Yes, it's very obvious there. Perfect. Two on four. A random package. Oh, it's called the bridge, the random package. That's interesting. But no, I just looted it. <laughs> Let's loot everything. Yeah, some random page with stuff.
stuff with about the gang and like so I mean that just explains oh there was a bag with money even in an emergency I just took all the money because well that's what we do in games right <laughs> we're just uh, becoming great people okay I'm just randomly walking this way oh no sticks here let's double check okay yeah I just eat a pretzel to have a bit more concentration power but I don't seem and well there don't seem to be any concentration stars so uh, that's okay I guess we need to go to uh, well we're first going to check the building but nothing happens this is a bit of a disappointment it would have been nice if it would open and this door is basically just a door with no function all right let's just break the gate that the young boy was talking about and oh yeah we can just uh, or I can throw that, even with a free, I can still open this random place, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this was basically, you could not have lost this one because your physics are six anyhow. And so there was like no failure in this, but that's great. I mean, it's a start, you should not be here to fail. Oh, I will be able to find another stick, I guess. So let's see. I hear it, but I can't see it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was very useful. Let's try it again. <laughs> I can hear it, yes, and I can see it now. There is it. Okay, perfect. Okay. Is there another stick in this area? I guess not. Let's just go to the random house, but the guy was telling that we should hide in the bushes so okay we can kind of crawl with the r and left control we can duck okay so it can it feels tense <laughs> it feels there is a tension here oh yeah the music is very not as well okay it's very uh immersed okay Okay, the guy is walking around with his food. Okay, it's just a random guard, maybe I can attack it. Can I attack it? I can't attack it. Okay, and he's standing there, he's not noticing me. Perfect. Run away. Oh, random mushrooms. You can never have enough mushrooms in your life. Okay, so. <clears throat> where are the sticks? I think these things could be sticks. Well, they're kind of wooden blocks, but why is this not? <laughs> this not? Okay, here. Here there is something. Let's see. Oh, there. There's a little stick. Perfect. And now I think I have four sticks. Of course, just double check the area a little bit. Can we just loot everything? Can't go in that building, that's very unfortunate. It looks like a nice building. Kind of a cottage. Oh, I think I just found extra stuff. Mm, and did I? It's all black. Oh, there is a little bit of green. Now I have even more sticks than I need. I have five. Yeah, maybe I just go for the six. Oh, and I need to eat the pretzel very important in life nice oh someone is hearing me okay that feels scary okay he's not coming behind me that's okay okay so this is the starting loca location oh wait it works the gate perfect all right so we're back at the starting road so just walk 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 Back to the young boy. What a boy that's called young. You will never know. You will never find out. Well, maybe in another version of the game you will find his real name. Yeah, 
Yes, we have all the tools. Yes, great. Then Perfect. we can tinker. Yes, we can I tinker. I have drawn a plan for you. You'd better put it in your pocket right away. First I'll explain it to you and then you can look at it. Okay, a random attacking program that kind of will never be able to fail. That's awesome. Okay. Let me know when you have understood the plan. In the meantime, I'm of course, my I summer. understood it all. <laughs> okay, so let's double check his plan. Read it. Oh, this is a, a door? Oh, okay. I needed to build a door, of course. Oh, yeah, that was true. I need to first finish the door. That's why there is a crafting table over there. That makes so much sense now. Oh, that's why I need to have a 6x4 door. Because every door is made out of four wooden sticks. Just, of course. Okay, Not I in made heavens. the door. I almost thought that you had slain a Pascolini while tinkering and dragged him along. Do you say that I took too long about this quest? What is this guy? So now a bit of time passes and we, yes, we start at the night time because we can only attack during night time, I think. Okay. Yeah, just. The time has There's come. A lot of German Pay attention. In the game. I will explain our plan again. Oh. When are the two you, guards get really scared, I come out of the bushes with the doll. Okay. Our secret word is Mama. When I hear that, I come out. Okay. It's Mama. sure to get those trousers off those two brainiacs, I tell you. Okay. Then hopefully, they will leave right away, and sing. you can go to the bridge <laughs> and roll the barrel song, away. And then you that. can... <laughs> that's not uh, the right place. What do you it. actually want? Where do you have to go? Well, I need to ah, go to the city. Mrs. Gschwendner, not G. I mean, the mayor is waiting for me. It's quite simple. You walk through the village on the main road, and you will see the inn straight away. There are a few beer benches in front of it, and the lights are always on. Just an inn. Yeah, like all the inns. Okay. But be careful, there are also guards running around everywhere in the village. Because that makes total You're welcome. sense. This. We should be on our way now. It was nice to meet you. Very aggressive and place. please don't tell my father or the guards that you saw me. Otherwise the Pasculinis are the least of my problems, I can tell you that. Okay, let's find your daddy, little boy. Wonderful. <laughs> no. What you need now is a work. It's okay. You can give, give me free pretzels if I am asking for it, so that's great. Okay, let's choose annoy some guards. Slowly, kind of. So, what is going to do? Just randomly talk to Borko. Okay, just concentration. Come. Yeah. Bertel, did you say Pasqualini? Did I hear that right? Okay. Interesting, so the information, I guess information nothing is most clear obvious thing now. Am I crazy? How does he know that? Is he just trying to mess with us? Yeah, of course. <laughs> we are. Okay, another one. Jens, it sounds exactly like the description on the wanted posters. He must have met him. That's not good. Oh, I didn't find all the information. That's a bit unfortunate. Oh well. I can still throw some dice and hope that it works. Let's see? Oh, of course it doesn't work. Stop! <laughs> the robbers? Us? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Well, the sign. Ernst, let's get out of here. I think this is just mad. I don't want to die today. Where should we go? They are everywhere! Over there! Down on the right! And then run! Okay, that was very easy. It's a bit too easy for guards. Okay, let's just push away this barrel. Take the pretzel, of course, first. And now we can go to the next phase. 
I guess now we are going to have a little bit of stealth. Yeah. So now use the... Yeah, just be silent, little man. It's all fine. You can handle. Okay, let's walk here. Um, of course, grab all the stuff because, well, makes sense. There is no tension at all. <laughs> no one wants to find me. Okay. So, oh, oh, yes, there's the other guard coming. Let's wait a little. And then we are going to hide in the shadow. Oh, he's so slow. Oh my gosh, come on. Walk, walk, walk. Yes, there he is. Yes. Mushrooms! Okay. Yes. There are many benches. Well, they're talking about benches. It's being the inn, but mm, this doesn't seem to be an inn. Oh gosh, no, this is certainly not an inn. Okay, this is a little bit of a cottage. Oh, no, 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 there's someone, there's someone. Okay, okay, so let's just attack it. Because that makes no sense. Let's just hope he's not going to call one of his... Uh, <laughs> oh, that's nice, this sound. Oh, okay, I failed because... Well, I'm not strong enough. That's unfortunate. Ow! Okay, this happens in the night when you are not succeeding. Now we are going to do a take and avoid everyone. Every single one. Yeah, we need to hide in the bushes. Okay, let's go for it. It's a little of a loading bar, but we can handle. Okay, there we go. Slowly, we know where we need to go. We need to attack him. Perfect. Oh, I even didn't notice that I could switch up the lamp. Oh well, it's all fine. And this little chest. Let's just do some random pick up, uh, pick lock. And some lock unlocking. And yes. Okay. Ah, fair enough. It was a success. And what is in it? Ah, pretzels. Nice. Take them all. Why there is no button to take it all? That's a bit of disappointment. Okay, so... Well, the other stuff... Frosty too. Well, the soup is okay, I leave it, it's fine. Mushrooms... There they are. Oh... I'm... I'm oof. Okay, maybe I'm too fast at this moment. I'm just going to hide and duck. Oh, we're the mushrooms on the path. Okay... Let's just... Go into those bushes, bushes, and wait for them to come. Let's see. Okay. Is he going to walk away? No. I'm just a <laughs> scary cat sometimes. Oh, I'm just knocking random on the door of the doctor. And he's not opening and the guy behind me has no clue that I was knocking on the door. That's super strange. That would <laughs> most most people would hear this. Okay, so that's the doctor. That's not the inn. Mm, let's see. That seems a bit of churchy chicken like. We can't go in. This gate is also locked. Everything is locked. Okay. Okay, we are going to be getting closer, but it's also getting a bit more uh, lighter. It seems almost like it's going to be morning at this moment. Okay, well, there's a farm, obviously. Oh, yes, there is exactly the explanation of the pub. I can just take the, <laughs> take the stick from the drunken guy and then I'm going to enter the inn of course after I picked up all those bears yeah. okay 
The lamp is the start of the inn and the entrance. Yeah, it's all fine. I think they suspect me to come. I mean, they should know. Yeah, I'm just going to look inside or I'm knocking. I'm just looking. Just uh, throw some dice. Why not? I've got feeling a six. So. Okay, now plus two. Um, I'm most likely going to fail. Yes, I'm failing. I... This is going to be scary. It's an inn, so I guess it should be fine. Yeah, I'm just going to try to be very still at this moment. Oh, that was almost a one. Okay, well, that was a one, so I guess that's uh... Okay, so it's a bit of a tension here, but uh, it's an inn, so I guess we are all fine. So, yeah, she already knows me, yes, she was expecting me to come. So I'm here, I'm going to be in the inn, I'm going to sleep, and then it will be daytime. And then the real deal starts, because then we are going to start with the investigation. There's a lot of investigation in this game, it's very story driven. Well, at this moment I'm talking a lot around it, but at the meantime I was reading a lot. And... Uh, well, it's fun to read, and it's uh, it's a nice story. Sometimes it's in German, and sometimes it's in English, which is kind of an interesting experience. Okay, and this is just waiting for the time to come. We have a map, so that's also nice. Uh, I used the map a bit later, of course, because, well, you never open the map immediately. Um, Oh, I did though, but uh, later on I didn't use the map that much. Um, but let's see. Okay, the mill, the inn, and the house of Queen Rachel. Uh, Griesbachers, sorry, Griesbachers. My German is a bit, uh, well, rusty, let's say so. Okay. We'll be staring at the map. Checking them. <laughs> My inventory and the onion is a white square. You didn't know, but now you know. It's uh, how uh, onions look like in uh, in Bavaria. Okay. Okay, I'm just a bit of orientating myself, but I think I'm walking this moment at the right. The right. Ah. A little chicken house. Okay, nice. And there's the church. And there is Mayor Griesbacher. Hello, Mayor. You are the gentleman from the city, right? Uh, well, come along. Xaver Griesbacher. I am the mayor here in town. Oh, you there's a little bit of uh, change of volume there. And at such an inopportune time, just when the village policeman Rup is away, he usually takes care of such things, you know. Now, of all times, things are going haywire here. Everyone is in a tizzy. Such an atrocity in our beautiful village. Okay, interesting. And how does he want me to react? Uh, that's a challenging one. Um, I guess I need to be strict or intelligent. So. Well, uh, well, it's easy for you to say. Uh, in the city, such things may be commonplace. It happens there every now and then. But here, with us, in Wolpertshofen... Yeah, no, nothing happened there thing. before. How should one deal with something okay, like that? Everyone is still shocked, I can already. tell you. Wow. A catastrophe Under that will go down table. in the village chronicles. Okay. I guess the mayor has ID 
but it's not telling me what, who is going to think that did the murder. Mm, let's see. You want to know what exactly happened? Well, I, I do not know at all where to start. Everything, yes, everything seems to happen at once. Yesterday, late in the evening, it seems like it almost happened again. Bertel and Ernst, the two almost faced the maker. Good that the two are such brave and smart guys. Uh, otherwise, it would have been over with them. I'm telling you, evil is out there, creeping around the houses, hatching sinister plans and terrorizing the people here in town. Yeah, okay. There's a lot of things going on here. And now we are going to the doctor, I think. Oh, I need to say something intelligent. This is not going to work because I have no clue what he likes. Okay, no smart What are answers. you talking about? <laughs> uh, of course, everyone is scared. Okay. There's a murderer loose in Wolpertshofen. Oh, Just yeah. yesterday, we found poor Lenz. Dead, beaten to death, haunted by evil. Mm. Oh my, oh my, what shall I do? Okay, so ah, Lenz is dead. You have come to an inopportune moment. Schirmeyer is coming to pick up the body of his son. Let's go outside, if you have something to discuss. Uh, no, no, don't don't let us disturb you. We'll be right yeah, back. Mr. Schmidt, you can see what's going on he here. Uh, Lance is dead, so the murderer is at large, the policeman is not here, and the teacher is threatening to start a revolution. Okay, so the teacher is starting a revolution. Okay, interesting. Selbstverständlich, Herr Schmidt. Selbstverständlich. Gestern Abend, ausgerechnet am Heiligen Sonntag, dann hat es einen Streit gegeben bei der oh, Geschwindlerkarte yeah, in Mürzhaus. Da trifft man sich so gerne nach dem Gottesdienst. Ähm, sie sind auch dort untergebracht, wenn ich mich täusche. Before. Wie gesagt, sind wir hier ein anständiger Ort mit rechtschaffenden Leuten. Aber der junge Leubel stiftet immer wieder Unfrieden mit seinen gespinnerten Ideen. Da oh, ist er mir jedes Mittel recht. Like an dem Abend hat es mal wieder ideas. so eine Diskussion gegeben, die ist ein bisschen hitziger geworden. Ich glaube, die werten Herren haben recht viel Schnaps erwischt, wenn sie verstehen. Jedenfalls sind sich unser lieber Pfarrer Bayerle und der junge Leubel recht angegangen. Es ist ein bisschen persönlich geworden, muss ich sagen. Eigentlich okay. wird dann der Rupp dazwischen gehen. Der ist hier sowas wie der Dorfpolizist. Und jetzt hätte man ihn einmal brauchen und er ist nicht da. Der hält schon immer zum Pfarrer auch. Gar nicht, weil die so viel miteinander zum tun haben. Aber das sind eben beides Männer mit Anstand. Für die zwei lege ich meine Hand ins Feuer. Oh, okay. Und der junge Leube hat einfach okay, Corona nicht gewonnen. Well. Dann hat sich der Lenz auch noch eingemischt. Das so hat er gar nicht gefällt. Der Schorsch hat es dann so nicht stehen lassen wollen. Der Schorsch ist eigentlich ein Netter. Der hockt da gerne in der Wirtschaft. Gestern auf Nacht da, ja. Jedenfalls ist es dann körperlich geworden. So sind die nämlich. Tun immer so intellektuell und am Ende werden auch doch mit die Fäuste gesprochen. Oh, they also, went, das, like, das war jetzt keine Schlägerei oder so. Well, they had a äh, nicht, dass sie was Falsches denken. Ein bisschen gerangelt haben es. Eigentlich alles halb so wild. Das war gleich wieder vorbei. Die vernünftigen Leute sind nachher warm. Das hat schon gelangt dann. Andere sind nur blim, haben nur mehr Bier drinnen wollen. Der Linz auch. This, und am nächsten Morgen liegt der Linz dort da drüben in der Pfützen. Und oh. das Geschoss ist groß. Der and Leubel rennt da umeinander und beschuldigt Leid. Beruhigt sich gar nicht mehr. Sie, sie müssen mir helfen, sonst gerät das Ganze ah, außer Kontrolle. Okay, because there was a lot of tumults. Like there was a lot of going on. And then in the night there was also a dead Ganz body. Gut. Genau so, so machen wir das. find out who killed... Lens. Okay, let's see if I can get a bit more of information. Let's see. Okay, let's test my empathy. Oh, okay, it's not that good. Mm, okay, it's getting better. Oh no, no, that's not going to work out now, that's just too few. It feels a bit random, the dice rolling though, like I have no control of it, but really no control. It's a bit sad. But I hear that the developers are going to change that, so that's quite cool. Okay, let's, uh, well, ask the doctor some more things if we can. Well, he was busy. Oh yeah, he is busy. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate. Okay, um, let's check the map. What do I want to 
C two. Okay, I have no clue. Oh wait, that's not the mayor. That's the doctor. Okay, let's talk with the doctor. Maybe he has something else to say. You must be the young man from the city. How inconvenient for you to arrive here just now. We have to admit that all hell is breaking loose. Yeah, Yesterday, two young men were attacked again. It is difficult to say who is responsible. People are attacking but people. What brings you to us in the first place? Can I help you in any way? Okay, I should I take of the course. one? Of course, under these circumstances, anything mm. else would be negligent. I cannot and will not divulge any detail here, but it is clear to me that there was an external influence. Certainly, this was not a natural death. Forces. Lenz external was also force. a vigorous young man. He didn't just drop dead. No, I don't. Also, don't think that that's the stuff that's happened. Unfortunately, to I cannot give you any information about that. I was not present. I was in Hintergroßharting that weekend visiting a patient and only returned here the next day. But that was on Sunday when almost all the villagers are in the pub. It shouldn't be a problem to find a witness. Ah, okay, so this is the first thing to go to the pub and ask everyone. Okay. That's right. My name is Schweighöfer Harald. As a doctor, I'm responsible for the whole district. We don't have such high density of doctors here. Fortunately, we have Oops, been spared from the cursed place. cholera that is currently raging the He's country talking again. a lot though. Cholera always shows its ugly face when the high lords think they have to play war. Many soldiers in a confined space, unbelievable hygienic conditions, poor supply of food and clean drinking water, and nasty injuries. A cholera is happy about that. But what am I talking about here? I don't want to bore you. Well, you do, but of course I should say you don't, otherwise you are not happy. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, not exactly. everyone is open to the wonders of medicine and technology. Yet today we have many opportunities to educate ourselves. Well, this is already a little bit more different than in the tutorial. In the tutorial you really get a green thing and now you need to, well, you listen that that was the right answer. Okay. Uh, let's see, there's the church. Hi, priest. Do you have something to say? Praise be to God and welcome to oh, our tranquil yeah, congregation. Oh, yeah, something about God, of what course. What brings you to us? <laughs> he sounds really like a priest. You speak true words, dear Valentine. These are difficult times in which you have joined us. A terrible too. tragedy has occurred. And the community must first find its way back to peace and unity. But can I help you in any way? <laughs> yeah, just tell me if you murdered someone on the road or Dear not. Dear Valentine, that's a good question. Actually, it was a Sunday like any other. We had a beautiful mass and afterwards people here like to get together in the pub. I usually join them too and sit with the important decisions makers of the village. Just a normal Sunday. Unfortunately, we also have a few younger members of the community who often go overboard in an unseemly manner in the pub. Unseemly, I tell you. Unfortunately, yeah, that was, um, that was the also the case on the Sunday in question. These troublemakers sat about two tables away from us and got louder and louder. Louder and louder until you could hardly hear your own words. Some of them certainly had too much to drink. Well, God bless hops and malt. And so <laughs> I was faced with a great responsibility, namely the responsibility to keep the peace in the village as the leader of the spiritual community. Of course, this also includes peace in the inn, especially in the inn. After all the war, we need peace again. My well-meaning but admonishing words, however, were only met with scorn and derision, unreasonable refusal, boorish behavior, by God, you can't call it. Our dear Schorsch could not bear this ungodliness in his heart. The young man was so animated with courage in his attempt to defend me and the church against this boorishness. It was a real delight to look into his shining eyes. Of course, I wanted to calm him down again. 
Forgive even the guilt he set our Lord Jesus Christ. And ah, then everything okay, happened so very quickly. He and All of a sudden, where the people Schorsch was standing the at the table about. of the scoundrels um, and called them okay. to account. The rudeness with which these louts met him can hardly be put into words. Rudeness, I tell you, dear Valentine. Of course, we did not get involved in this barbary, so we settled our debts with the good Mrs. Kschwentner and went our separate ways. God sees all sins. I prayed for those louts that very night. Ah, okay, that the this is the way how God it's playing. So, the first getting the clue. He and Schors were there. Of course. And Let me know at of course any they have all the story to tell. You, and I need to Valentin. find out what now, is real. I think I need to smoke my pipe. Yeah, very healthy. Of course, I don't want to blacken any parishioners, but Mr. Leubel Corbinian, our village teacher, must be mentioned. Must. L-O-I-B-L is how you spell him. He was sitting there with Schweighöfer, Lenz from Schormeyer Farm and Hans Giergel. These troublemakers sat there and spouted their insolence. In the past, there would never have been anything like that. In the past, even <laughs> young people had respect In for the, the past, dignity of yeah, the church yeah, very and the office. Old man. <laughs> but these louts don't know anything like that. Respect no and respect. decency. Impudent scum. But of course, mm. I will also include well, the these language people for in my priest. prayers and ask the Lord for forgiveness of their sins. Of course. Okay. On my side, you mean on the side of the community? So the righteous, the general public? The question should rather be, who isn't? You must mean, who was sitting at the table with me that evening? I don't remember exactly. As a representative of the church, I simply sit at the table with the members of the congregation. I make no distinction, you know, none. Well, <laughs> yeah, because they are all going both, I, I, I guess. Soul. Alois was also there, and the mayor, of course. But I could also be mistaken. As I said, I make no distinction. Ah, okay, almost everyone was at the bar. So almost everyone can be the murderer. Okay. Let's just randomly check if they gave Gray some clues. I guess not. And I cannot go into the church. Oh, okay. Yes, this side. No, nothing is lighting up. Nothing. Okay, well, that was my little roundabout uh, around the church. Very useful, uh, not at all. But we got some conversation from the priest. Okay. Okay, here yeah, I was a little bit disorienting myself, but there's the church and the travel, yes. And there's the doctor and the well, okay. So let's see. Okay, this is. So who are you? Has Chris Bauer already called for support? First they beat Lenz to death and then they shit their pants. That's just like them, conservative assholes. That's exactly what it is. But you really don't look like your strong support. We will not be stopped. We will not be intimidated by these reactionary buggers. Exactly. That's how it is. What does LaSalle say? History is a struggle with misery. And we will take this struggle upon us. Let me give you some advice. Don't get in our way. This can end badly. You better watch out. Okay, message received. I don't trust these guys. Okay, let's uh, find a pub. There was on the back, I thought. There was a lot of people were there and they almost know everything. 
And this is not a church. This is the little farm. So I can't solve with people and I obviously can't talk to chickens. That's unfortunate. Okay. This door is not doing anything. Okay, no, only obvious doors are doing stuff. Like opening, you know, like what a door does. And no, you're just a random walk by. Oh, this was uh, a, a crafting table. The point is with the crafting tables, I still have no clue what I need to do with it. Um, but I also heard from the developer that they're going to have more crafting in the game. Okay, that's interesting. And there is a drunken guy. It's almost a drunken corpse. <laughs> nice, nice little detail. Okay, and there is the inn again. Let's check some, uh, some people here, have some conversations. Hello? What can I do for you, Mr. Townsend? Kathy? About Bayerle? I don't know. His name is Hubertus, Bayerle Hubertus. It's been a few years since he took over the Catholic parish here. You may already know that Miss Oberlechner works for him in the household. To be honest, I don't know what exactly he did before that. I never asked him. But otherwise, he's actually quite a pleasant person. He likes to be in the garden, he has herbs and stuff behind the church. Hmm. He okay. often sits somewhere and smokes his pipe. He's a quiet man, I'd say. Only some things annoy him. People gossip now and then, of course, because of him and Miss Oberlechner. I don't believe it, but who knows? I'm not there, fortunately. Okay, so a lot of different social elements in this game, like some Lord. people uh, don't trust like others or I understand that. gossiping. Sometimes he gets a bit worked up. But he does his job well, as far as I can tell. Well, he takes care of his congregation and is also concerned when something happens. Well, Doesn't the sound like a him, murder, I would say. but you never know. What can I do for you, Mr. Townsman? Hmm. Yeah, let's check uh, markets. Okay, should I sell something? Well, the white things, the... Things without a picture, I can sell that, I guess. They are not that important. Otherwise, they would get an image, right? So that's totally fine. Some other stuff, oh, I already collected a lot. Um, I'm not sure yet what to do with all that stuff. Oh, this sounds me a lot. I also have no clue what to do with money, because I haven't really spent money. So, okay. Interesting. Hey, nice. And you are the one that I can stand on. Howdy! Do I know you? No, you don't. Servus, Valentin. I'm the Schorsch. Oh, wait, my name is really Valentin. I thought I was Mr. Schmidt, but I guess Valentin Schmidt. Okay, that was an amazing conversation. And let's just get all the beer off the table. Hey people, oh, I can get in the table. Oh, more beer, more beer, okay. Mr. Schmidt, good day, what can I get you? The information, please. Because of how things work here with Katy and me, you mean? I'll explain it to you. Shall we sit down for a moment? Okay, Katy I have doesn't some like to talk, talk about to it. Today. Well, about the whole thing. The inn belonged to her late husband, August. It wasn't a happy marriage, but I don't know much about that either. Sometimes Mother Krentner tells a little something, but she's not really there anymore either. Maybe you've noticed it yourself. In any case, Katy insists on her maiden name again since August died. Krentner. August's name was Brauner. He took over the business from his parents and continued it with Kati. And I think Kati also likes doing that here. People like her. Her mushrooms are popular in the whole county and she has a certain assertiveness. No, it's all right with Kati and the inn, but... 
And I certainly Bugs, won't tell you anything Bugs. new. When August was no more, Kati had a problem. Working as a single woman and then also in an inn is difficult enough. Running a shop like that by yourself? We don't even need to think about that. Of course, that was not an option. It takes a man to do it. A woman oh, can't. No. Okay, I had just I arrived see. in Wolpertofen and spent the yeah, first yeah, few yeah. days here in the inn. At the same point, I sat for a while in the evening. Katja and I got to talking, and in the end, we had an agreement. Outwardly, I run the inn. Kati does the rest. I help her where I can, even with her mother. I have a roof over my head, Kati has support and can keep the business. And the people in the village keep quiet. Most of the time mm, it's okay. more important how things look and not how they actually are. Ouch! Yeah. I shouldn't have said that. Please don't tell Kati. She'll tear my head off. Ouch! Pinch! I'll end up in Hell's Kitchen. I'd better get back to work before I blab anymore. It was yeah, nice, Mr. Should. Schmidt. <laughs> I'm sure you're busy too. Yeah, There's a very uh, smart conversation that we just had. And of course, I'm not going to tell Kathy immediately. First, no, I'm just going to see what she reacts. Or can I not say something about it? What can I do for you, Mr. Townsman? Okay, I don't have any options for this conversation. Ah, it could have been a nice add-on. Okay, what is behind here? Oh, random stuff that I can pick up. Okay, yeah, this is not working as well. Um, yeah, this seems to be the outskirts. Let's follow the path. It's often in games, just following the path. And a woodcutter, I <laughs> hear all the time a woodcutter. So I guess this is the hint to go to the woods. Okay, these people are not going to talk to me. Sad. Sad story. Okay. No. Okay, so here is most likely like the murder happened here. And oh, I can't find it. I feel it. I hear it. I can not see it. Maybe it's no, it's not there. Oh, it's over there. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um. What it needs to do with this? Let's just randomly check my inventory. Maybe <laughs> there is a clue in here. Uh, no, there's no unknown. Okay, this is random. I thought I was getting something. Okay, just go to the place of the elect. Uh, yeah, just examination. Oh, I also need to roll for this stuff. Okay, sure. Oh, and I also can drink beer if I want to improve my physics. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I guess that's how Germans spell that. Okay. Well, I like the audio design. It is also made by audio designers, so I guess that uh, works. Very hard difficulty, and yeah, this is never going to happen. Um, okay, well, I just saw something. Hmm. Okay, this is also not working. Oh, it feels so harsh. The punishment, the feedback of this game is a very heavy negative, well, positive feedback blue, but it's so random. Okay. So I know that there is... Okay. Mm. Yeah, I just used my guts. Makes total sense. It's your first impression, right? That's kind of a gut feeling. There's a little lady peeking. 
Often they have nothing to do with the murder, but they always solve stuff, so I guess that's us see thing. Okay. Yes, I'm prepared for this. Okay. So now I'm going to check with the old lady. Where's the old lady? Not there. There's the city. All the village basically is not the city. Oh, I can check other stuff. Oh, do I still have concentration for this? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. Oh, oh, oh. There. Oh, yeah. That's blood. Okay. Was that it? Hmm. Okay, now I'll just check the blood. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Oh, my old woman is a bit higher. That's interesting. Ooh, maybe I'm going to... No, no. <laughs> when you throw one, it's basically always an instant fill. Yeah, I just touch the blood. I mean, there are no DNA tests at that area, so they're not going to... Uh, Double check it. It was me! That is so much better of the old detective, right? I mean, you could be literally still dig in the murder case and people will not uh, accuse you. <laughs> okay, that's me wandering around off the topic. Uh, okay, so let's go to little old lady. Little old lady, come here, tell me everything that you saw. Everything. Okay. Uh, of course he's hiding because that's what old ladies do. Yes, please. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm not scaring you. I just want to know what you're doing all day. No, I don't talk to strangers. Yeah. Go away. Of course he is. Yeah. If I just tell you my name, I'm not a stranger Go anymore. Away. That's how it works. I don't in life, talk right? to strangers. Okay. Well, I can use all dices with the different conversations. Oh, that's that's nice. Yeah, I hear that. The, well, I, I basically uh, speaking in after I did all interview. Get lost but before I throw my chamber pot out. to make it. Mm, more Go of a away. stronger mechanic. I don't talk now to the strangers. Now the control is a bit, uh, uh, well, random. Oh, my gut feeling is also no worries. Get lost before... <laughs> but Go gut away. I don't well, talk to strangers. Like see, she doesn't want to be uh, convinced. Yeah, maybe I can uh, just drag her out of her house. Why not? Such a nice person. All okay. right, all right. Yes, Before you I, get I grumpy I here. Succeed. My goodness, the young people. Yeah, just answer me. Okay, so she's not coming out of her door? What is this? Hello? Hello? Lady? Come here? I won! Okay. Um. No, she's also not there. Did she just ditch me? Oh, okay, she, she just... Okay, this is her opening. Standing next to... Oh my gosh, this lady is weird. Okay. Hello, tell me everything you know. I'm sure the people in the village have told you that I'm the window keeper. Because I sit at the window all day. Oh my I gosh, you have no life. I'm just Henriette Maurer. You can see all kinds of things from there. You can take my word for that. People no always television. talk behind my back I can hear that this. I have so much time. That's why I would sit at the window all day. But that is utter nonsense. If there's one thing I don't have much of anymore, it's time. It's not a nice feeling, I tell you, when you know that you are dying now. Well, oh, everyone okay, dies. Well, since she's looking clear. at the window, but not to everyone knows wait for that the time to come. Numbered. But after all, I was allowed to grow old. Whether that's a curse or a blessing, I don't know. And I don't need to know. That's in God's hands, the priest always says. He hmm. is a good man. My, the thing with his house, people over here? 
Everyone has a vice. I don't care. He has to discuss that with the Lord. They'll come to an agreement. He's a good man. Even to Lenz, the victim, he was always friendly. Hmm. Although okay, he so often didn't make this himself is popular not at the murderer. Okay. The what? Ah, the robbers in the forest. Yes, I've heard that too. It's not nice, but... But I mean, where else am I going where they could find me? I've already noticed that they've put up some of the men at the bridges leading to the village. That's important too, of course. Oh, and you have not been I robbed. think That's the robber's name is Foren somehow. I guess what no one is, is suggesting that he has ah, anything to steal. Paschini. Like the Kini. Yes, now I remember. <laughs> They're apparently <laughs> from Mammendorf or something. And are known everywhere. Because they take everything that isn't nailed down. Everything. They've even taken cows and children. The poor children. Just imagine. Okay, so, but they didn't in any stole case, your stuff. They're probably not good people. The Paschinis. They make mushroom hunting no fun anymore. I'm sure mm. you can imagine that. Not that I go looking for anything in the forest. But Kati and Peter, for example, they go to the forest to find mushrooms for their Ramschwammerl. Uh, They're good, I yeah, tell you. Going back to the you absolutely kids. have to try them. Not everyone liked him. At the Schwammeyer farm, things sometimes go haywire. And the boy, Lenz, God rest his soul, especially liked to act up in the Schwendner Inn. He wasn't exactly averse to alcohol either, if I may say so. Hmm, okay. Alcohol course, is a big thing I don't in know game? what exactly happens there. Usually I don't go like into the inn anymore. It's too loud for me, and I don't like the way people look at me. It's always busy there, especially on Sundays. What was going on there again? Ah, yes, I remember. I couldn't sleep because my back hurt so much. Then I had to go to the potty again. Then I looked out of the window. There was still a light on in the inn. And that's when I saw Schorsch. Oh, okay. He saw Schorsch, okay. He went down the forest path up ahead. He was alone. I think he was pretty drunk. I don't know where he was going at that time of night. I went back to bed. My feet got cold, you know. Hmm, okay. Yeah, but I really I? don't know what else was going on there. And now I'm tired too. I need to lie down. Give my best regards to the priest. Okay. Sure. Oh, a lot of new stuff. That's always useful. Okay, what does this lady have? Oh, okay. Let me just steal. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. Well. These kind of games are just almost like inviting me to do this. Okay, let's head back to the city or uh, I didn't start saying city but village. Oh, oh. Yeah, we need to go to Schorsch. Schorsch or Schorsch. Um, I forgot how they pronounce it. Um, because he was clearly drunk and he's the next victim. Okay. Oh, I can't jump over stuff. That's that's a pity. I mean, just walking uh, around and stuff. Yeah, and those people are not talking to me. It's just random AIs. Okay. Pity, I know I more stuff. You, okay. You don't have to look far for him. He's sitting over there. Okay. What can I okay, yeah, I saw that as well. I mean, it was. I just wanted to check if there was more conversation. Okay, Schorsch. Schorsch. Yes, I just used the information. Well, I guess I had something to do there. It's not forbidden. Or is it already forbidden to walk around? Huh? Well, is it? If you kill people, it is. Okay. Um, 17. Oh, okay. 
Can you tell me why I should answer your stupid questions? Aww, huh? Because I was so close. You just leave me alone now, I suggest. Yeah. And how about you stop asking questions and focus on the essentials? Or you better make sure you get the hell out of here. But be quick about it. You can also leave the beer. <laughs> okay. Okay, Schwarz. What do you, you think? What do you want? I see some exclama exclamation marks. Uh, oh, I had active tasks. Oh, I was just randomly talking with people, but I had tasks to talk with them. Okay. Yes. And oh, I have not met two people yet. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Good information. Good to know. And I still have. No, I don't have a level up. Alright. Let's go to the mayor, I think. Maybe he knows something. I, oh, I just found out a different way of walking. I can kind of uh, side moonwalk. Um, oh, there is stuff. More stuff. More stuff. Okay. Um, oh yeah, the priest. The priest needed to. Uh, I need to say hello to the priest from the old lady. Hello. This is Oberlechner. Yes, Renate, a good soul, and I cannot stress this enough. An excellent household help. Yeah, yeah, of course, a very she has excellent been with me household for a long time. household help. Twelve, thirteen, more than ten years. In any hmm. case, poor Renate hasn't sketchy. always had it easy either. You know, unfortunately, God took Renate's husband away some time ago. She was left all alone with her boy. In the meantime, oh, of course, okay, Axel is no that. longer a boy okay. either. And that's how Mrs. Oberlechner came to me. After all, in the community you have to be there for each other. Renate needed a job, and I needed help. And such a household is really no job for us. Isn't it, dear Valentin? Hmm, the boy, okay. Maxel, yeah, soon went enough. to the city. Already experienced a lot, Mrs. Oberlechner and me. Over the years, you also get to know each other better personally when you spend so much time together. On a personal level, you certainly know what I mean. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Still, I don't really trust him, but let's see. Oh, yes. What do you want to so right. here? Renate, I mean Mrs. Oberlechner and me, for heaven's sake. I can imagine how you come up with such nonsense. Hmm. The people here in the village are always talking shit about someone. Okay. And yet, or precisely because of this, I am grateful every day for being able to hold my guiding hand over the community. Oh, what a good man are you. Hmm, okay. That was not working. Okay, let's find his precious Renate. Uh, oh, yeah, there she is. Hello? Yes, please, yeah. Mr. Valentin? Of course, Mr. Valentin. Hmm. I have information about you, I know everything. But what should be the best choice? Yeah, so, you yeah. have some information. I think it's good that you're interested in the place and the people, but you've been taken in by a rumor. <laughs> this nice is unacceptable. After people. all, you it's, don't know well, him. Not but that nice. <laughs> people just like to gossip. You know, normally not so much happens here. Then you just make something up, but there's really nothing to this story. Hmm. Some people are just a bit narrow-minded. They just can't imagine that Mr. Bayerle and I have a friendly and respectful relationship. Nothing else. Hmm. I'm not bothered by that. What's the point? Sometimes the priest gets a bit angry, but I have enough to do. Actually, I should be getting back to work, Mr. Valentin. Okay. Yes, please, Mr. Valentin. Oh, 
I think I... Yes, I went level up. Perfect, okay, yes. Now I can get some more skill points. What should I choose? Okay, um, let's re-talk this over. No, he's not going to talk with me. Okay, perfect. Hmm. Alright, let's... Uh, yeah. Let's do what? Oh, he is just standing there. Super. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and he is just walking there. Yes! <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, interesting. This is this is a new new thing. Okay, after looking at that amazing bug, which I think is funny. Uh, yeah, well, maybe that's my humor. Anyway, we go back to uh, check some stories or if there is some new stuff that we can check. Kitty, can you tell me something new? What can I do for No, you can't. That's a disappointment. <laughs> okay. Swords? Uh, no, there was not more information. Uh, why did I have such a bad dice draw? Um, okay. So now I'm just going to randomly find more information. So we just go back to... Oh, there is a way that I haven't noticed before. Okay, so there's a box, but boxes you can only really open in the night. That is someone who doesn't want to talk to me. Sad life. Okay. I just see the woodcutter all the time. <laughs> That's a bit confusing because I don't see a woodcutter, but I hear a woodcutter. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. This is seems to go to nowhere. Let's see. Oh, there's a little house farm. A lot of farms here, so I guess it's a farm. Oh yeah, yeah. We're getting close. Some veggies, I guess potatoes, okay, so you don't want to talk to me, and you also, oh my life, so, 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 so sad, and non-social, okay, um, this lady maybe, ah, a new one, Ursula Pistner, good day. Is there anything else? He's at the farm. Where else would he be? Okay. Is there any? There was clear information, I guess. He's at the farm. Is this a farm? New location. Oh, new stuff. Let's fill my pa full <laughs> fill my package with all the stuff in the world. Uh, I can still have no other skills to make. Okay, you. Um. Ah, a city dweller thing. What do you want? I want to do know if you killed someone. Do the over the land? Or are you one of those pretzel salsas like the old Fetzo who used to sneak around here and ask stupid questions? Hmm, yeah, well. Let's be uh, an asshole, I guess. Yes, that would be the most appropriate way of communicating with this man. Oh, yes, and it's green! Oh, but I have not the right information. That's the disappointment! I had the right way of talking to him! But I don't have the right information. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay. So there's a church in front of me. Okay, and we are here, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. 
I see, I see, okay. I get a bit of the grasp now of where the hell I am, which is maybe uh, <laughs> good at this point. I mean, I already played it like uh, around an hour. So, um, that's quite a lot of playtime. And I feel I have not touched the whole story at all. Quite a lot of content. Okay, we go closer to the woodcutter and... Oh yeah, okay, we have still two people to go. But I just met two new people, that's strange. Okay, um, mystery in this place. Oh, ich nehme ein Lobos plan. Okay, where is that guy? Hmm. Let's find out. And this is... Oh, this is uh, ah, I see. You're Charlotte. From city. Rup, Charlotte Rup is my name. What exactly do you do here? I have no other options, so I guess I need to tell her the truth. Yes, but I would also like to understand them very much. Ah, then you must have met my husband, Gustl, August Rup. Gustl. I don't know if I've met Gustl. Please, take me to him for a moment. I, I don't think I've yes, talked to yes, Gusso. We went to my sister's house with the children. She always complains that we come so rarely. Maybe you know what it's like. Anyway, August left early because of the thing with Lent. Oh, okay, then so maybe he did something with, has something, something to do with the murder. But of maybe course he's not has there. Something to do with my sister. Anyway, he takes his job here in town very seriously, you know. It's terrible what happened to Lent. Excuse me, if I had known that you had just arrived, I would of course not have asked you to take me to my Gustl straight away. How rude of me. <laughs> okay. Space lady. Why don't you first arrive here and have a look around? Then you will get to know the village and the people here. We can also walk together for a while. Then I'll introduce you right away. I wanted to go to the marketplace anyway. Hmm, okay, so I guess <laughs> I'm a bit late for this introduction because I have Two birds with one met almost all. Okay. What? What do you mean he's not here? Um, well, as I said, I didn't go with him, but it won't take that long. He should have been back by now. Not that anything happened to him on the way. Okay, that makes that's suspicious. Quite different, Mr. Schmidt, right? Excuse me, I urgently need to speak to Xaver. And Severin, too. No, I don't have a good feeling about this. We'll have to look at the place another time. Excuse me. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, so he's not going to uh, Children, walk around with me. Okay. Children, we have to go into town quickly. Mr. Schmidt, I'm afraid I don't have any more time. See you later. <laughs> yes, he's also like already w walking out of the screen, basically. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, yeah, let's just go back to the city center. Oh, the village center, it's not a city, oh my gosh. It wasn't that time maybe a city, I don't know. But <laughs> I just keep on saying city, it's such a village. Oh, I uh, found another, uh, like, white square. Let's eat a pretzel. Get some more concentration there. And, oh, you. You don't want to talk because, well, you have a white shirt. Um, they also don't want to talk. Oh my gosh, such social people. Ah, Friedel. Okay. Friedel. Friedel Güttinger, good day, but just call me Friedel. Yeah, I call you Friedel. <laughs> oh, okay. So Friedel, you... I don't know if you have interesting stuff. I'm just selling my stones. You can find them on the roads. Um, uh, yeah, that stone paper is, is, is white. It doesn't have any function. It's super weird. Okay. Yeah, I want to uh, get 25 coins for this. Okay. Oh, yes. 
No other stuff for you? Boring. Okay, uh, let's continue. Oh, those are beehives. But, yeah, I... Also, <laughs> there are stuff. But beehives, no, nothing you can take. Oh, you can take. I guess I took honey? I don't know. I <laughs> just picked up before I was looking what it is. It's a bit of this game. <laughs> Later you just check what you just picked up from the floor. Okay, Renata. Anything new? No, nothing new. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So... Oh, okay, those scary men. I haven't talked with them yet, so maybe I should talk with them for real. Oh my god, <laughs> he's a low wolf. <laughs> That's oh, me. Okay. What do you so, want from okay. me? Whose side are him. you on? Are you with this murderous traditionalist pack around our mayor? Um, he sounds nice. <laughs> okay, so how to ease this conversation? Hmm. Uh, yeah. That's spot on. You don't know your way around here, so just stay out of it. We'll sort it out among ourselves. No, well, not so good in be it again. as it may, <laughs> what was your name again? And what do you want in Wolpertshofen? I'm Valentino Schmidt. Okay. Now uh, let's say my ah, job. You know what you want. Well... That's fine with me. Yes. Okay, clear that's announcements right. are good. Okay. You were announced. My name is Leubel, Corbinian Leubel. I'm the teacher here in town. However, it might be a bit difficult with your report right now. You have chosen a most inopportune time. It will really be the best if you devote yourself to the good old Schlossbergbräu from Kati until this matter is settled. Last night, to an innocent citizen was beaten to death right beneath our mm. eyes. Mm. And our fine mayor once again shines through his incompetence. Did he send you? Should I lie or should I not lie? Oh, the dice is... This is are always so scary. Oh, the difficulty of zero. I can pass this. That is amazing. Okay, great. So it's easy to lie. <laughs> In a neutral position, then? That could be an advantage. Yes. The mayor and these buffoons were suddenly playing militia for him. Arch conservative scum. Apart from the fact that he is not allowed to do that at all. If I am not mistaken, only the Ministry of the Interior has the authority to do so. The same Ministry of the Interior that is supposed to have sent you. Do you know about this ridiculous militia? Did you <laughs> authorize it yourself in the end? Uh, this is like your light is coming back to you. <laughs> oh, what should I say? Uh, ooh, okay, um, it's a bit difficult. He seems so to... you are oh, one of those. Yeah, yeah, you find out that I was Poor lying. Poor Lenz. Okay. Lenz Glass, the son of the old Tromeyer. They found him dead in the street. Lenz is... was not weak. He would have known how to defend himself. Someone must have hit him from behind. Hmm. And okay. everyone keeps their mouths shut! But not us! As LaSalle said, this is the power of speaking out what is! This is the most powerful political means! This no one dares to say who the murderer is, with a lot of but after what water. happened last night, <laughs> None of those hangers-on can tell me nothing. Oh, now we said, have though, to the animation act. Is not exactly and I'm telling insane. you this for the last time. Do not interfere. Go to the pub and get drunk. We'll soon have this settled and then you can do your work. Hmm. Okay. Oh, 
maybe I can pass it. Yes, I can. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Maybe that's not a bad idea. Oh. But I won't okay, wait good. forever. I tell you. You're an odd fella. But somehow, I feel I can trust you. I'm counting on you. Find the killer. Okay, at if least I he trusts you, me, so that's a good I start. I would first talk to our fine mayor before he pisses himself. <laughs> Go ahead and tell him that we won't be fooled. I really like the conversation, though. It's really... it's... it's a... Uh, well narrative, yes. Oh, yes. There was an argument. <laughs> a real fight with our fine mayor and his ass kisses. I have only told what injustice prevails everywhere. Because as La Salle said, it is and always will be the most revolutionary act to say out loud what is. But they are unresponsive to reasonable arguments. Oh, they were okay. just yeah. looking for a fight. Ever since we lost the unspeakable war against Prussia, everyone has been looking for an mm -hmm. escape goat. Okay. And that's what us supposed to be right now. Okay, so well, there is so some frustration the about the think war. outside the box. Anything that okay. smells of progress is immediately sent packing in this town. Damn Higgs. Hmm. What yeah. kind of question is that? Of course no one is happy about our defeat. Perhaps it was the wrong idea from the start to side with Austria. But you really don't want to side with the Prussians either. We should have just stayed out of it altogether. Okay. But at yeah. latest when the damn Prussians won at Königgrätz, <laughs> it was clear to everyone that we were not on the winning side. Well, I wouldn't give a damn if it wasn't for the little man who had to face the music just because they want to play war up there. Since then, the mood hit rock bottom, and instead of calming down, they now seem to have to pick a fight with us. And they can have their fight. We certainly won't back down. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Total different uh, view on the situation. Okay. Uh, Who was present? Yeah, I was sitting with Schweighöfer, the doctor, Lenz and Hans Giegel. Okay. One or two tables away was our pastor Bayerle with Schwarz and Alois. So everyone was there. We <laughs> were chatting away and drinking okay. a beer when the priest started his litany. First the war and now us. We disturb the peace of the village, he said. We are causing trouble and putting nonsense into people's heads. That ah, sort of thing. Schweighöfer simply okay. remarked that the priest had no idea about real life and even less about the war. With the church's money, you could really help people, but it looks like nobody wants that. No. He prefers to sit comfortably in his parish and doesn't give a damn about the rest. Bayerle didn't even react to that. He's too good for that. But Trash got really, really angry. He stood up in front of us and shouted about us being sent off. Sent off? How ridiculous. Schweighöfer could only laugh, but Trash didn't like that at all. He grabbed him by this graph on the neck and dragged him out. Lenz went right in between. He and Schorsch even had a bit of a scuffle. Lenz scored quite well a few times. Very well, in fact. Schorsch quickly let go and the whole route left. Serves them right. To be honest, we really got shit-faced afterwards. We wanted to celebrate this small victory. Around half past ten, we said goodbye in front of the pub. I walked straight home. Hmm. It seems he's it's not obvious. A Definitely one of them. They didn't want to take such a defeat lying down. I don't think it was the priest himself. Maybe Alois. But I think hmm. Schorsch was lying in the wait for Lenz. He wanted his revenge. 
Yeah, okay. And Shosh doesn't want then to talk to me. Then he just knocked okay. him out somehow. Shosh could hardly walk anymore. He probably completely underestimated his strength. Something like that can happen. And now he has to be held responsible. But who is going to do it? The policeman is prowling around once again. The mayor is also a crowny of the whole route. So let's put justice in the hand of the people and act ourselves. We are prepared. We will confront George ourselves. And if they try to get in our way, we won't shy away from violence either. I haven't always kept my rifle in good shape for nothing. Okay, that escalated. Okay. Okay, cool so he thinks Lenz. George is... Lenz the Glass of murder. the Schwermeyer farm. His father owns it. Really not a particularly sympathetic fella, that is. The father. One wonders how it came about that Lenz was so open-minded. With a father like this... In the past, we didn't okay. have much to do with each other, Lenz and I. But since I came back from Munich, things have changed. We often talked about the world and politics. He was always in favor of a pan-German solution. I never understood that. But still, he was a good friend. And then he lies there, beaten to death in the street. And now laid out on the farm by his insufferable father. Those bloody reactionaries! Okay, so he yes. thinks that has something he's laid to do out with at politics? his father's at the Schormeyer farm. Okay. They have just picked him up. Head west out of the village along the forest path for a quite a while. That's where the farm is. Oh, okay, another location. Okay, that's cool. Okay. So, and that man, who is that? Oh, that's Muller, okay. Yeah, you've come to the right place. Do you need something? I can't help you right now. We have to finish our consultation first. You know what's going on here. We have to defend ourselves. Until peace has returned here and we are safe again, I'm afraid I can't do any work. Come back then. Okay, so this is for later. He most likely has a different quest. Okay. Um, yeah, let's maybe go to the farm or to go to Shosh. Or, well, talk a bit with the doctor. Uh, the doctor has nothing new. No. Okay. Okay, as this time I'm just going to... Well, I thought I was going to talk to some other people, but, uh, well, I think the best thing is to go to Schorsch, or Schorsch, or how the hell his name pronounced, and see if we can get some more information out of him. Okay. Okay, Schorsch, you are going to tell me everything. You did the murder, or maybe not, okay? Yeah? Yes. Please, well, tell me. Usual. We did a little drinking, a little talking, the usual stuff. Perhaps there was also a bit of an argument. That happens sometimes. One will still be allowed to speak one's mind. What do you want anyway? Do you want to get on my nerves now with your stupid questions? I really don't need that right now. Okay, well, uh, an angry man. In a fight. It certainly wasn't like that. We just had a bit to sort out. It happens. It's part of the game. Pack fights, pack gets along. That's what they say. My dear, don't get on my nerves with your stupid questions. Are you from the press or what kind of person are you? It doesn't matter, just leave me alone. I am a reporter. Dude, this is my job. Okay, can he help me? Give what me more information. You, Mr. Townsman? Um. Finally, someone who asks questions calmly. All <laughs> the others are just shouting and accusing each other. These smart lecky cocks with their puffy cums. For me, and please keep this between us, they are all no better or more important than you and me, men. 
then they drink a beer and another beer and discuss. And when they can no longer talk properly, they start to argue. No one has ever been killed because of that. Poor Lance. He wasn't a model child either, but he didn't deserve that. Such a young man, his whole life ahead of him. Lying there in that puddle, it's hard to believe. Yeah, that's then very sad, yeah. He married Alois and is now called Fiskner, an unpleasant person. And they didn't have it easy either, all of them. The mother died recently, tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. That was bad. Then the old Schaumeyer drank a lot. And there were also arguments on the farm from time to time with the children, I think. Schaumeyer got quite angry, and since then it's been quiet again. Well, Ursel got married anyway, but in general they got along well. Although the father and the son didn't often agree on ideology, I don't know, I think the death of the mother brought the two of them together again. Yeah, she's a lady of gossip, Poor that's man. quite clear. That's a tough one, wife and son within one year. And her thing with Sensi was only a short time ago. Oh dear, who's going to take over the farm now? That would have all been for Lenz. But Schwamaya is actually a good man. I saw how nicely he played with Wurzel's stepson, Alois Junior. He seems to like him. Okay, so now he's going and to... And I haven't even been out to see him yet. Some other information that he's most likely not the murderer? to Schwamaya when you go out to the farm, please? Thank you, Mr. Townsman. No, thank you for what all your gossip. What can I do for you, Mr. Townsman? Well, Corbinia, yeah, the teacher, like his father, the teacher. but Azava is quite different as a person. His father is a loud person, and Corbinian has two little brothers. His father beats them all badly when they were little, but Corbinian got the worst of it, I think. Sometimes you don't wonder why people go a bit wild, right? I've often heard that Corbinian likes to gamble for money, and unfortunately not so successful either. It's well known that he also likes to drink. And he also has a way with women. He would always find one, but he obviously doesn't want to get married yet. Anyway, they sent him to the city to study. His father wanted Corbinian to become a teacher too, but I don't think old Leubel really likes this idea anymore. At any rate, that's where he met the people from this workers' movement and joined them. Since then, he has been going around quoting this La Salle or whatever his name is. I don't think he knows it himself. In any case, it doesn't always sound right as he says it. He also put up some posters with slogans by this La Salle in the village. Most of uh, them so have already been torn down by the militia, but you can certainly still find a few. It doesn't matter, I don't think he's a bad teacher. He brings in a breath of fresh air. Not everyone likes that, of course. The old men in particular are not so receptive to Leubel's ideas. Then there's trouble. He just won't let anyone tell him to shut up. Okay, what can I do for you, Mr. Townsman? <laughs> yes, you don't know the people here yeah, at all. What On the then other then? hand, who does, Mr. Schmidt? Who does? No. Okay. Mostly the two groups, if you want to put it that way. I think I need to explain that. Do you have a moment? Yeah, well, sure. I like this conversation. It's this really is well developed. Not that you think anything wrong, Mr. Townsman. But like everywhere else, there are also people here in the village who are a bit more traditional. They want everything to stay the way it is. And of course, there are also those who don't want that. They want something to change. Often, it's mainly the young people. That Sunday, the boys sat together again. Severin, Hans Bürgel. Ah, Dr. Schweighöfer was also there. Poor Lenz and above all, Corbinian, young Leubel. Teacher, like his father. But otherwise, they have nothing in common, the two of them. They don't get along very well. And they like to discuss their crazy ideas about politics and society and what not. I don't get involved. Other people sometimes say something to them. Mostly the old people. So, Father Bayerle, of course, Alois and Schormeyer, and of course the mayor. Schorsch was also there this time. Okay, the mayor is also not... Uh, doesn't have a clean slate as well, okay. Actually, Rup always sits with them, but I think the Rups are visiting family at the moment. And we could have used him right now, the village policeman. Anyway, they were shouting quite a bit that Sunday. They were acting up a lot, if you know what I mean. 
Probably too much liquor, but you can't say that to these gentlemen. I didn't really okay. notice everything that was going on. There was a lot going on in here. But anyways, at some point, Father Bayerle says to Schweighöfer, the doctor, that he was destroying the village community. He got quite angry and told the priest to shut up. The no, it was a fight between the doctor pocket, and the priest. But all the other people had to starve and come home crippled from the war. Then Schorsch got quite loud and threatened Schweighöfer that he would kick him out of the inn. As if it was for him to decide. And then Lenz <laughs> interfered as well. Maybe that was his mistake. He threatened Schorsch that he would show him the way out if he didn't shut up right away. And then Schorsch went after Lenz. He punched Schorsch in the face and before I could do anything, he was actually quiet again. A typical case of male hubris, I would say. Then they went home, the old ones. So Schwarmeyer, Alois, and the priest. He muttered something about God rest his soul or something. Maybe it was around nine. The mayor had okay. already gone home. I think the way they behaved was too much, even for him. But again, he didn't pay. Put it on the tab. Always puts it on the tab, the fine mayor. The boys stayed a little longer, even Schorsch. They got along again, at least that's what I thought. Then they all went home, one by one. Okay. What can I do for you, Mr. Town? That was nice. Now I have a very clear understanding of what happened. Okay, let's just check if Shores has a bit more information now. Most likely he doesn't want to talk to me. To, uh, to talk to me. Okay, yeah, there's information missing. Oh, I need to find more information. Let's see, where have I not been? No, I talked a lot with What this can lady. I do for you, Mr. Townsman? No, I can't talk anymore. Okay, let's orientate a little. Those men has n have nothing to do with the whole situation. Uh, let's check the map. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I can go to the mayor. See if he has something new now, because I talked to the teacher uh, who has a lot of opinions. Maybe the mayor also has some opinions. Oh yeah, that's the little chicken house. And there is the house of the mayor. Oh, well, I can't talk with your uh, Paul. Okay. Mr. Schmidt, that's amazing! I don't know what to say! Uh, what what kind of deal is this? Okay. Oh, I should have talked to him earlier. Oh well. But what kind of... Okay, no. He was skeptical? Nothing. For once no, I agree with him. him. But check the yeah. alibi and prove the innocence of Schorsch. That will calm down the teacher. Okay. I trustfully place the matter in your hands. I see. That's how we do it. You keep me informed. Is there anything else? So I need to do the work. <laughs> okay. They sure. Can I give you some more information? Huh? The thing is, I've already told you, this is a decent place here. We are decent people. Traditional, loyal to our king and God-fearing. Mm -hmm. But some people think that's not good enough. They sent Leubel to the city to study. Now he's back with a lot of nonsense in his head and is always causing trouble. This is not about a murder. Keeps talking nonsense mm. about inequality and revolution. Steers up the people. But we are doing well. He's the least to complain. But Leubel okay. was able to win over Hans Gürgel, Severin, a doctor and Lenz for himself and his crazy ideas. That is tragic. Well, oh, this is very difficult and that's impossible, yeah, even in the first round. Uh, I'm not a big fan of revolutionary talk, just like our priest Bayerle, but I don't really know who else sees it that way. But I didn't want to get involved. When they started arguing, I went straight home. Too much beer. I really didn't need that at that point. Okay. That's, that's why I don't know exactly how it went on. You'll have to talk to the others, please. They'll be at each other's throats soon. 
I'm telling you, our priest, a good man, is already quite upset, and Leubel just won't give in. You've seen him. Okay, I can't even so get through to him. No decency, so no hurt. respect for authority. Please talk to the people before something even worse happens here. Nobody can imagine such a thing. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, this. Well, this is. It almost looks like Halloween tree. Okay. Um, the church. Let's see if there is something here. We're talking a lot about religion. Oh, there's a door conversation. Okay. There's a lot of reading. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, my sins. Sure. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there's a, again a, like a, a meter of how well this conversation goes. Okay. There's not a lot of information. What kind of guy he is. Okay. Okay, that was the only option. Okay, you just made a cry. What is this for? <laughs> it's sad though, because this should have audio. It would be very interesting audio, yeah, and I'm failing. But I'm just forced to fail. I guess I have not the right information. Or maybe this this is the start when I kind of <laughs> find extra bugs and this was not yet the conversation I should start with. Yeah, there's a lot of information missing. Oh, what is this? This is the worst conversation ever. Okay, so I feel... I guess I should have not went here. <laughs> I talked with the developer and, uh, well, and later also this kind of force information out of the game that I should not have seen or heard yet. Um, they are fixing it though, but in this version there is still some bugs. Okay, um, yeah, let's see if Dices can help me. Oh my god, difficulty is 17, yeah, for sure, I should have not yet, uh, knocked on this door. Oh, painful, okay. Like 17, that's literally almost impossible. Um, yeah. Oh, I have some information. Okay, let's, uh, let's use the information, I guess. Mm. Oh, okay, well, okay, I just asked the teacher. But the information is also useful. I have some information at least. Let's now get the information out of hand. What the photo? Information, yeah. Okay, so based on a bit of information, I can get it back to green. But I don't have enough information. Yeah, please, Father, do something! Help me! What's happening? Yeah, Father doesn't want to help. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is definitely a, a thing that I should have not already uh, well, walked into. Oh, this is just too much red. Yeah, I can... <laughs> Typically 15. Yeah, that's practically impossible. Okay, so this is the start of me breaking the game. But I can still do some stuff. <laughs> Just 
I think this story is getting a bit out of hand. Yeah, I tried to stop him with... No, I'm not going to drink alcohol, but... Maybe with another... Yeah, maybe I can stop him. Um, can't. <laughs> this is poison! Hmm. It's also a very interesting animation. I'm just next to the door and a lot is happening. And the police are up spam! Yeah. And I'm out and I'm locked. And okay, it's confusing. What happened? It's a mystery. The truth. Okay. No. Well, okay. Okay, that was uh, interesting, but it's getting a bit late, so I think I should uh, well go to bed soon. After I picked up all the rocks, yes. Well, why not? Oh, and then some pretzel and ooh, a box. Why well, can't I open the box? That's sad. I would have wondered what was in the box from the mayor. Yeah. Okay. I guess I took a bit too much on the street. I walk a bit slower. Is that more like a uh, physics? I don't know. Let's go sleep. I don't trust the night in this game. Oh. Oh yeah, the inn is the lamp, because that makes so much sense. Yes, sleep till the next morning. Oh, cute animation. And there we are, back in the morning. Okay. So, what was the plan? Uh, let's... Oh. Okay, so my master plan was breaking the game. I mean, I heard this from the developer. I literally, with this uh, move uh, that I randomly do, I mean, I really like churches. I always walk around churches and see if there's something happening. I don't know, it just came from a lot of games that are always when you walk around the church, something happens. And yes, something happened! But that was not meant to be. We need to call. I didn't have all the pieces of the story. It's about and now I suddenly have. Who's been snooping around here all the time. I'm afraid he, he knows everything. But what makes you think that? The questions he always asks. He knows about Maxim, you see. I'm so worried. If this gets out... I'm telling you, he doesn't know anything. Do not let yourself be unsettled. God holds his protective hands over us, Renate. If this gets out... No, I'm, I'm already worried. For you too, Mr. Bayerle. It's all because of us. I'm so sorry. I can't tell you how much. Do not yeah, and that's why you it. should never hey, have this private conversation what is done, next to the church. Is done. What really annoys me, however, is that the old Maurer has recently apparently also taken part in the village gossip. This is an impertinence, these insinuations. You mean the thing about the affair? Don't get angry, Mr. Beile. Just let people gossip. They always done that. We know that none of it is true. We shouldn't care about what they say. You are right. It's laughable. I wish I could look at the matter with your equanimity. Well, that's not our concern now. Yes, you're right. That reminds me. I still have the money behind the gravestone. I have to get it before someone else finds it. But I'd rather do that after dark. Then there's no one left in the village. And nobody wonders why I'm standing around Karl Oberleitner's grave. So this never will happen because I don't have all the pieces of the story. 
Okay, but uh, well, of course I can see them and I react on them and they are shocked. <laughs> Everyone is shocked. <laughs> Actually, it all started when Maxl, my boy, moved to the city a few years ago. At first, we both thought it was a good idea that he would find a decent job there, that we wouldn't have to worry. It's not so easy out here, you know. Maxl never complained. And then Mr. Bayerle had to go into town once and I went with him. Then we also visited the boy. I was so happy to see him again. But I quickly lost my joy. That's how bad Maxl's been. The work in the factory is dangerous. Six days a week, at least 10 hours every day. And then he can't even afford his own room with the money. He shares a room with three others. They even have to share the bed. The priest also seemed quite concerned. He didn't say a word the whole way home. And he wasn't hungry that evening either. And the next day, he made a plan that he had to help the boys. But he doesn't have much money himself. So he thought he would just take a little from the church. Ooh, he said, stealing money after from the all, church. it's there to help people in need. And the boys, he said, need it urgently. I think that's generous. But of course, it's not completely legal. We can't <laughs> let that get out, obviously. Mr. Bayerle would lose his job, and so would I. And I can't imagine what would happen to Maxl. That's why we were so careful. Poor Lenz was one of young Leubel's friends. He also wanted to do something against this injustice. He always said so. He had his faults, but in his heart he was a good boy. He really didn't deserve that. Killed in a puddle. Anyway, Lenz often had to go into town and he played messenger for us. The priest always collected as much money as he could and I put it in an envelope and gave it to Lenz. Always on Sunday, shortly before the end of the service, when everyone is still in church so that no one notices. But this place has eyes and ears everywhere. I should have known that this wouldn't go undetected. The boys were always so happy. They would never have complained, but this way they often got something warm to eat and new shoes when the old ones only had holes in them. Look, we would never have done anything to Lenz. We needed him. Now we don't know what to do. I'm so worried. Yeah, okay, they are clearly not the murderers. <laughs> not at all. Okay. Well, it's a very touching story. Yeah, I guess I can... Uh, well, I don't need to tell this. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, you know, I just wanted to try this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Such good citizen. story. It's nice. Yes. Okay, so this happened far too fast and that's an issue. But I can still continue some of the stories. See, I kind of finished the story but I also didn't finish the story. No, that's uh, funny. Okay, let's, uh, I guess let's go back to the teacher and tell, well, that the priest is for sure not the, well, the culprit in this story. As we know what happened, right? Okay, so, oh, oh yeah, well, Mayor, 
I kind of have new information, but you don't care. Oh, that's sad. Okay. Sad story. Um, I think the teacher is behind the, well, the school. Yes, so... In the corner. Yes. Okay, Mr. Talk a lot. Oh, he's not talking a lot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not so a we have no more suspects? And the killer is still among us? Threatening the lives of everyone and intimidating all the progressive thinkers in the village? Schmidt, I'm sure you did everything you could. But this investigation seems to have reached a dead end. In any case, we will not wait for the murderer to find his next victim among the liberal forces of the village. Unless by some miracle you find the culprit, we will be forced to act. We must make our preparations for the worst. This damned reactionary bastards will be brought to justice. Do me a favor and keep your head down until this storm is over. Oh yeah, this also is not exactly correct connected with his story because I have not told him that Shorsh is not, well, uh, the murderer. Okay, so this was already another hint that I could have finished the story. But we are going to continue because there are other stuff to find out. Yeah, he was talking about a farm from like the father. Maybe I should be able to find a farm because at this moment I think I have not seen it. Um, yeah, oh, okay, there is... Yeah, okay, it seems that there is another way to the farm. Okay, let's find the farm. Okay, no possible. <laughs> oh wow. Well. Okay. No. Well, okay, it's okay. I think I have all the details there. This is a bit of a long path, nothing is happening. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Here, the woodcutters! I'm hearing all day and night, all day, all night. Oh, okay. Hmm. But they're busy. This is literally the sound that you hear every, every single moment. Oh, can I get their stuff? No, I can't. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. To the light, to the farm. The game is made by Unreal, but most likely you already know this. Because, well, <laughs> I had so many Unreal crashes the first time that I pl played it. But uh, they are working on their optimization. Oh, look. Some animals, some cows, I guess. I hear a lot of birds, but I still cannot really see more. Mm. Ah, now I hear a cow. Okay. Okay, it's a bit of a long path, but it's fine. Oh, a false travel port. That's fine, that's nice, that's nice, okay. Yes, there's the farm, and um, well, okay. Shawmaya, oh, that's Shawmaya. Ah, 
I don't know why I found the mayor and the Meyer. It was the same, but of course it's not the same. See, it was. Oh, they were talking about. What do about you want? Him. Okay. Yeah. Also, oh, it's his son. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Here you have some oh, my uh, catty. <laughs> That's a good one. Such good mushrooms, too. Uh, there's nothing wrong. Really nothing. Okay. Yeah. Well, then, Valentin, come on. Sit with me. Open the schnapps. <laughs> Let's wash it all down. Uh, what else can we do? Am I all right, Valentin? Do I look like uh, I'm doing well? You don't believe that yourself. People are dropping like flies everywhere. One can only wonder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a no, terrible Valentin. time. I'm wondering. I tell you honestly, it hasn't been normal for a long time. All this. But now I'll tell you something, Valentin. Listen. Because I think I'm beginning to understand it all. Listen. Yeah, are you listening? Okay, he sounds a bit crazy. Last night I saw her. By God, I saw her. And that's when I realized what's going on. Uh, it's cursed, Valentin. There's a curse on the farm. It's all cursed. Oh, that's okay. how it must be. That's the only explanation. <laughs> I tell you, Valentin. All this sure. misfortune, it's, it's a curse. We are all cursed. And then we didn't give the poor maid a proper burial. She's hunting the place. She'll never forgive us. Never. Oh, yeah, you're doomed. Of course. You're powerless. There's nothing I can do. What should I say? This serves us quite right. But... Eh, Valentin, you can talk to people. You are one of these guys. That's what you do all day, walking around, talking to people. <laughs> yes, that's uh, my job. <laughs> can you talk to the witch in the forest or the priest? I don't know who's in charge there. Uh, maybe you can convince Bayerle to give Sensi a proper burial after all. Would you talk to him? Yeah, And okay, also I with Easy. Surely she can do something. Uh, she knows all about curses. She must put some sort of protection on my farm. Uh, a protection against evil. Oh, okay. Help so you believe me, and I will witches? help you. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I'm lost. All is lost. Okay. Hmm. Okay, the curse of the farmer. There is a new quest line. And, well, okay, I need to just find like uh well i you know, need to have him a, give him a proper bro or uh funeral and i need to find the witch who can maybe give him uh, like uh, some ease on his mind okay so this is little farm nothing to see here um Okay, so there were the cows, and um, there I am, and there's that little, little outskirt for the witch, I guess. Okay, let's find her. There's some random stuff. Love it to pick it up, as you all know. Okay, let's find the witch. Most likely she doesn't like him or whatsoever, or there's another reason. It's a bit of a long walk as well.
Yes, there she is. Lazy. Yeah. I have a lot of options here. Oh, and she's the sister. Oh. Okay. I yeah. don't see how that's any of your business. <laughs> I live okay. out here because no people pass by, because I want my peace and quiet. That goes for you too. Mm. Yeah, okay. She's nice. <laughs> yeah, I just give her yes. some emotion. I had a sister. Like I used to have parents and a faith in humanity. Little by little I lost them all. I can't even say what last. It doesn't matter either. Zensi. I miss her every day. Every time I wake up, I have to understand again that she will never come to visit me again. As if one could understand something like that. There are things that are too much for the mind. It closes up like a clam. It doesn't believe it. And then you have to experience it again and again every day. Now I'm all alone in the world. I have what nature gives me until one day I become a part of it myself. That's how it has to be one day, yes. Zensi was such a good person. She only meant well. Hmm. Okay. Of course, Zensi was not completely innocent either, but she was much what people made of her. That's the way it is with all of us. She was someone who cared, and she cared about me. She was very warm, had so much love in her. You could see that right away. And now she's gone, and she's not coming back. Not today. <laughs> And not tomorrow. <laughs> and never again. How can that be? Mm. Um. These yeah. people bring bad blood. I can sense that. Those are the Pascolini, says Hans Girdel. They are notorious. I'm sure you've heard of them too. And now they are prowling around here, not stopping at anyone. Just the other day I was picking herbs and they were lying in wait for me. I could feel their hungry eyes. I know them already. So I ran and hid in the forest. Nature protects me. I am safe here. Okay. Do I know about curses? I just listen when nature speaks try to understand what the plants are telling me and feel the energies that surround me. Call mm. it supernatural if you like. Others call it diabolical. Still <laughs> others speak of ghosts. Some are even afraid. As if it has anything to do with us. As if we humans were worth the trouble. <laughs> no, no. People are not that important. We are not that beautiful and pure. We are indifferent to our environment as soon as we can see a personal advantage. At some point we have ruined everything. Nature, each other, the whole world. Then there will be nothing left of all that and then all the money and all the power won't help us anymore. The earth cannot be forced to live. It doesn't do that for us. It will certainly only be happy to get rid of us again soon. Okay, well, she has a very I would be amazed if there is even is one anything? soul who has not had a curse placed on them. Some curses are very persistent. They stick to people like Ta. Hmm. Okay. I recommend a talisman. I can make you one. It should help protect. This won't take long. That's nice of Before you. Before you ask, I don't want any money. I don't need much of that. What I need is poppies, and not too few of them. 
10 plants should be enough. Oh, fresh grass. Oh, okay. You found some? Okay, I just skip part of me running around finding puppies because it's always terrible to, uh, well, look at someone doing a fetch quest. I mean, I still have not all the flowers, but I am quite close. Anyway, I went back to the village. So, uh, we have some new information. Um, of course, we need to go to the priest to ask for a nice funeral. Yes, that's uh, the path to go. It's getting a bit dark, so maybe I should first get a good sleep. Because I don't want that someone is going to kill me in the night. Yeah, most people are already gone. Um, just a little sleep. Beauty sleep, of course. This gives me a bit of the old vibes of the old games, which is quite nice. It was a, it's a bit of a classic way of uh, showing time changes. Uh, there is my favorite character, Shor. And he has nothing interesting to say. That said, uh, uh, okay, a little bit disoriented, but let's go to the church. Mm, oh, there's a new door. Well, I haven't checked that door. Uh, wait, where am I going? <laughs> Okay, I'm just taking the detour to the church, <laughs> which doesn't make sense. Well, maybe I see some new stuff. No, I'm just uh, going to the church. It's fine. Nothing new. Uh, just some random AI walking there. Not in the wall this time, so that's great. Um, the clock is, uh, well, telling us to uh, go to church. Oh, I found some random stuff. Oh, of course, I was checking poppies. That was what I was doing. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, yes. Hello, Birle. But Valentin, what is there to discuss? Could it be uh, because poor Sensi could not be buried in the consecrated graveyard? Yes, I want that. Of death. course, that is tragic. But my hands are tight, dear Valentine. Those who decide to leave the life in this way have no place among their Christian brothers and sisters. But that's so unfair. Come on, dude. Okay, let's... Oh, ten, that's the heart. <laughs> that's really hard. Yeah, that's not working. The church cannot change the rules just because a few people would like to. Suicide is a grave sin. Hmm. Oh, also another 10. No, it's not working. <laughs> that was almost this 18. Come sin on. This is so <laughs> reprehensible that one forfeits the right to purification. Okay, I don't have all the other stuff, but... And you can keep your sacrilegious and pseudo-intellectual views to yourself. Yeah, I use my favor for sure. That is true, of course. And I would like to fulfill <laughs> it. he is a okay favorite, Valentin, of course. Yes. What the pastor wants to say and what he can say is mm -hmm. unfortunately not always written on the same page. Exactly. I have a responsibility, after all, for all my parishioners. However, it seems to me that you are being heard in the right places. Provided there are no complaints from the congregation, there is some room for maneuver within which I could move as a clergyman. So I will see to it that nice. Sensi's body is laid to rest in this cemetery today. Thank you, Father. Father. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's share this news with... Uh, well... <laughs> Uh, I forgot his name, but uh, I will see him soon. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, it's a bit hard to remember all those names. But it was not a mayor, but it was close to mayor. It was 
Yeah, it was mayor. Sure, mayor. Yeah, of course, sure, mayor. Yeah. Okay. I fixed it, dude. I have a beautiful funeral for him. For Sind you. Sie, uh, oh, yeah, for did your you son. talk to the priest? Uh, what did he say? And is Griesbacher playing along? Yeah, Valentin, all fine. that's something. That's amazing. I can't believe it. Sind Sie. Yes, that's only right and proper. Then she can finally find some peace. That's nice. <sighs> Maybe I can sleep again tonight. I really owe you. Thank you. Yes, you owe me something. So let's ask something that you can help me further in my uh, quest. Yeah, I like to... What kind of questions are these and why should I answer any of your questions? Come on, I just gave you a favor. I did you a favor. What okay, do you want? <laughs> do you have a fever? If the mayor hadn't sent you, I'd chase you off my farm right now. But if okay. Griesbacher is behind it, I don't want to get in the way. Oh, yeah, okay. but hurry well, up. I don't have all day. I should ask him. On the evening it happened at Katis pub, he meets his revolutionary friends there every Sunday. Mm. They always discuss God and the world. Their ideas are too crazy for me. Where would that get us? But when you're young, you can be a bit crazy. <laughs> Fair Lebel, enough. our teacher. He was out in the big white world to study in Munich. Since then, he's had all these wild ideas in his head. And his pal Severin. He's always hanging around the school. <laughs> yeah. The That's good true. Dr. Schweighöfer thinks he's particularly clever, huh? He was there too. And Hans Girgel, who used to be a farmhand. Unfortunately, there were issues. Lenz and Hans Girgel often disagreed. But when it comes to politics, they seem to stick together. I think Lenz mostly sat with them. But I'm not that interested. Mm, okay. Um, yeah, I want to look at your son, for sure. Um, About the farm? Uh, yeah. What do you want to know? Oh, I thought I wanted to know. Many come, many <laughs> go, just, just like everywhere else. Of course I like to keep the good ones. Finding decent stuff is really not easy. We also had a test at the farm. What happened with Tensi is really tragic. She took her own life. Oh. We found her, Lenz and me. That's a story. She was hanging was... back there in the shed oh, from a beam on a rope. Talking about. What a terrible thing to happen. Oh, she took her own life. Oh, that's strange because I already talked about this issue with Nobody Rizzi saw before, it coming. But I had no clue. Sometimes <laughs> I ask myself whether it could have ended differently. I don't know what happened to her then. Schweighöfer picked her up. Say, doctor, ask him if you want to know anything else. Okay. So and here, Find Eyes, Hans Kirgel, a laborer. He also stopped coming recently. Okay. Room 12, that's high. Mm. Oh, okay. What's going on with Hans Kirgel? I don't know. I'm not that close with my employees. And whoever doesn't want to come, I won't run after them. Is that all or are you going to walk around here all day asking stupid questions and stopping people from working? Yes, that's my job. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the last thing I can uh, check on Lens, I think. Yeah. Mm. It's mm. all right. Go on then, but don't touch anything. Of course not. Oh, I went level up. That's great. The level ups are, well, it feels that still with the throwing the dice is not going to make such of a big difference. But okay, let's um, pick... Oh, Clarissa has minus two. That's sad. 
I need to fix that. Yeah, okay. And now it's 8, which is random, okay. Okay, well, let's talk, I mean, look at this, um, uh, okay, yeah, there's no one there, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I guess I just, uh, X and close. I can do this. Yes. Yes. It's a bit of a delay in the, in the noise, by the way. Um, okay. Physics or gut feeling? Ah, gut feeling. Eight. Twelve. Nice one. Seven. Perfect. Yes, I had a great gut feeling. Uh, someone cleaned the dead man's face. Hmm, it was mud. Okay. Yeah, just turn the dead man. Ooh, ooh, this getting dangerous. Come on. 20, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, so I turn him and... Dryer. Hmm, okay. Hmm. And yeah, just examine his hands. Maybe something. He holds something, maybe. Okay, let's just open this hand. Oh, please. I'm certain he holds something. Uh, I would not know. I would never know. Oh, I know. Okay, interesting. Okay, I still got it. A button. Okay. Hmm, maybe I have some more evidence for sure. Uh, is it paper? Oh, okay, there's also some vendetta going on. Of course, not all the... Words are there. Mm. Oh, this is the letter, yeah, and this is, well, this is uh, the point with, um, that we already had the information about the church. It's so unfortunate because it just totally changed the whole story and it changed a lot. But I still wanted to show some of the elements which I think are really fun. Uh, you can also always wait till the later versions, of course, but uh, there's still some nice things to show before I, uh, well, I <laughs> realized that I couldn't uh, continue anymore. Okay, let's just go back to the city center, well, to the, the church, and I want to talk to the doctor. Um, hmm. Actually, I'm not allowed to. You oh, know, you're medical nice? confidentiality. Has Shomaya approved this? Okay. Hmm. That's a bit unfortunate. This house. Yeah, maybe I just need to ask this random gym question. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Okay, let's go to shores. We have, uh, well, the button and maybe some extra, well, uh, new stuff that we can just tell shores. Please, the hell, tell us what you did that night. Um, yeah, that would be nice. So.
so we can kind of also close that story because I don't think he killed Glenn's. It doesn't make sense at this time. Okay. Yes, so I used the information. My name or what? No! Okay. What do you want with that stupid button? Do you want me to sew it on or what? Do yeah, I look like a button? woman? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's possible. Great. All right, all right. But I didn't bring my jacket today. It was too warm earlier. You can keep the button if you want. All right, so he lost his jacket. Okay. What? Where? Yeah. What do you mean now? So I have argument viewpoint. Oh, oh, okay. There is a. Okay, we need to keep him happy. Um, let's uh, see how we can keep Shorsh happy. Um. Yeah, what are you spreading about, man? Ooh, that's a nine. Oh, but I, I drew... Oh, I drew a nine. Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh, yes! Ha, you're I, sweating me, uh, man. I uh, think. Mm-hmm. You... Oh, that was not that much. Okay. Um. Yeah, just use the information. Uh, I don't yeah. know now. That doesn't mean anything. Mm. The other information, yeah, please show me uh, the jacket or can I see your shoes? What yes. do you want? Um. Mm. Okay, this will be tricky. Let's uh, just uh, take the shoes. Yeah, uh, only 10. Oh, okay. 12. Another. Yeah, a natural 20. It's so okay. Look show at your them. shoes, man. Okay. Oh, we are in the, in the green. Good, good. Um, yeah, the other information. Oh, yes. Okay, I need to do everything, I guess. Mm. But what kind of a oh. stu- Okay, oops. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, use my string. Okay, okay. Well, um... Oh, I lost. You can't do anything to me. I advise you to leave me alone now and sneak back into town. Hmm, okay, okay, um... Oh. Okay. First you said I was in a fight? I don't even remember that. That I was also supposed to have been at the scene of the crime? That the lens is lying there, beaten to death? It's all so terrible. I only remember coming here. It was a Sunday. That's when everyone meets at the inn. What happened next? I just don't remember. I tried to remember, but there's just nothing. I can't find my jacket either. I don't know where it is. It didn't get left behind the cutties. I just don't know anything anymore. Nothing at all. Please, Valentin, tell me what you know. What have I done? Did I really kill Lenz? Yeah, calm down, bro. Valentin, you're such a clever man. Can you please help me find out what I did that night? I need to know what happened. This Great, Valentin. Let's do it. Yes, of course. We have to find the jacket. Okay. Let's uh, easy this one. You mean when we're both as full as I was that evening, then I remember again? That's what I call a blame. Is that my plan? Let me know when <laughs> it's ready to go. Terrible. I'm always up for that. Okay. Let's uh, go get drunk. Valentin, 
this is all for a good cause. Mm -hmm. Drink into your stupid skull. And then he said to him, what are you looking at? <laughs> you see, looking at because he hit him in the eye with the pitchfork. You see? <laughs> Okay. A toast to our King Ludwig the Second. Long live the King. Cheers, Valentin. Okay. In the war against the bloody Prussians, just the grace. No big deal with their bloody tinder pin rifles there. They oh, shot back three a, times while like we were still reloading. From what the teacher was Damn talking. bloody Prussians, I tell you. Hmm. So fast. Now that's what I call speed, Valentin. Nobody's used to that. I tell you, it's all unnatural. I wonder if God wants people to travel on trains like this. I don't believe it. <laughs> Super that's random something conversation. Else. A war like that. Okay. You wouldn't wish that on your worst enemy. That's not human. No. You have to give up your humanity. And I'm telling you, Valentin. You won't get your humanity back. Oh, no. And now I know I certainly took something to drink with me during the night. Mm. The bottles must still be lying around somewhere. We have to find them, huh? Okay, so I am now on the quest to find his bottom, the uh, bottle, and he uh, fell asleep. Perfect. And I am super drunk. <laughs> oh, see this. Okay, this is crazy. Oh, and my controls are a bit wonky as well. I can't open this. Uh, I just want to take more beer. <laughs> okay, just take all the beers. Uh, okay, I feel so crazy. No, no, this is... Oh, I'm... <laughs> Yes, okay, so I need to search for the bottles. Do I see something? Not here. I hear something though, but maybe I'm very much discontinued. Um, oh, this feels strange. Oh, okay, I, I. Yes, there it is. Okay, interesting. Oh, my walking is on! Okay. It's Trilly's hair. Okay, some dice rolls. Yes, I succeeded. Perfect. A wooden ball. Yes, my good coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, that was a very bad coffee. Okay. Ping ring. Okay, sure. Okay. Oh, stings of green. No. Ooh, my physics are like one to one. That's crazy. But that's what happens when you drink alcohol. Ah, that's crazy. But you walk like a donkey. The situation is really dirty. <laughs> okay. Um, let's continue. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my pretzel is almost. Oh, there is a bottle. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Bottle. Okay. And. Um, oh, I hear other stuff. Oh, I. Oh, there's a random plastic. Oh, 
I can follow the trail of brothers, yes, I should do that, okay. Um, oh, my walkings are crazy. <laughs> oh, this is so strange. Okay, there's another bottle. Oh, and another bottle. Okay. And another bottle. Okay, yeah, this is... A part that I need to redo a little. Uh, I just skipped it so at least you need to see it uh, only once in your life. It was like very terrible. Um, but uh, let's uh, see because it's still very challenging. <laughs> it's quite funny. It's an interesting... Um, well, I, as you see, it walk very slow and very uncontrollable. <laughs> And it's a very challenging walk uh, quest, and I also walk very slow. And as you see, those uh, like <laughs> trees. Oh uh, yes, I just uh, wanted to even save it, but it was not possible. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I was desperate, uh, but this uh, was the first round of it, uh, no, it was the third round, the first round was, uh, well, it was terrible. So now I'm just walking a little bit wonky because I'm afraid to fall, because if I fall once, I kind of feel, <laughs> it's, uh, it's really that uh, deadly serious, so okay, so bear with me, it's funny and it's interesting, and um, yeah, okay. Oh. Yes, we are just walking very slowly. It's like the most intense drunken walk I have ever, ever, ever done in my whole life. It's uh, crazy physics. So uh, I would not suggest in this game to drink a lot. And uh, of course I would not suggest to drink a lot in life. I mean, this is literally how you, <laughs> you become. <laughs> You think you can do everything, but you're just, uh, yeah, you're just so wonky. It's, uh, it's funny though. Uh, it's a uh, challenging, funny, and annoying, and well, it is what it is. But uh, we are going to continue because I wasn't very close to everything, and then I, uh, I just <laughs> even drank more, and then I just couldn't walk anymore. <laughs> So yeah, uh, it's uh, funny. Okay, so uh, there is, uh, well, okay, so I need to just uh, do it uh, one by one. So you can also see where I need to uh, look. So, uh, well, here there is another um, bottle. Was there? Well, there is the pretzel and the bottle is, uh, yeah, over there. So, and there was another one close by this corner, so here, yeah, yeah. So, so this is exactly the proof that I already done it, because I already know where to search and uh, what's, uh, where everything is. And as I know where to search, I'm just searching on the wrong location. Perfect. And it's there, come on! It's was oh, I have no pretzels on it. Yes, there it is. There's one. Well, okay. And there's a pretzel. Yeah, perfect. Please take the pretzel. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, and the physics, uh, yeah, like, decreasing little by little. So, over time. So, over time, if is this a kind of a time quest? Oh, sorry for that. Well, fine. There's a bottle. And, uh, okay, now we can continue. I uh, want that pretzel. Come on, give me the pretzel. Okay, I can't get the pretzel at this moment. It's okay. On the pretzel note, I need more uh, pretzel because my concentration is low, so I'm eating a pretzel. So um, I got my concentration back. Oh. And I see how wobbly wobbly uh, I walk. That's why I walk so slow on those trees because, well, I would have fallen into the water. Okay, it's 
so um, well, there is the gate and last time so I drank a lot of beer to just uh, forcefully open it and then I just got overly drunk but yeah I failed and which is sad because now I need to <laughs> encounter a very annoying parkour and well the second time I drink so much that uh, I could even not walk oh this way so and Jeremy um this is uh, pure pain <laughs> it's a funny quest though it's uh let's uh, let's please uh yeah finish it and can you go you see me see me rocking the point is like every time your uh controller changing and that's really terrible <laughs> So sometimes left, sometimes it's uh, left and right, so, um, yeah. This is a very good mimic of showing how it could be if, uh, if you are drunk. Okay, so, I just literally uh, found it. Woo! Perfect. So now we are going to find out where uh, Shorts has been. And, uh, well, I think you already have one? guess because who was here before and there is a bottle oh sneaky shorts so he climbed and yeah the sneaky bastard Exactly, so now I need to go to Shores to ask what the hell did you do? And uh, I need to walk in my drunken state back to the inn. Uh, okay. And that is also on the timer. So I also need to hurry. Oh, oh. Wobbly, wobbly. Probably there's the inn. Please let me succeed. <laughs> no, don't pick up random stuff. It's fine. Life's already too heavy with being this drunk. Okay. Yes, go to sleep. Tomorrow we'll find out all the answers. And this is a bit of a straightforward quest, basically, because, well, we will ask Shors what happened, and he gives some tips, and uh, we continue with that. Okay. Of course, I first want to take all the beer. <laughs> and uh, then I realized that uh, you can uh, pick up too much stuff. So... Um, then I, uh, well, I needed to get rid of all my stupid stuff. So at a certain moment in the game, I found out that it doesn't make sense to pick up everything in this game. And uh, that uh, took, uh, took a while because I was uh, picking up almost everything that I saw. Um, but uh, at this moment, uh, see, I found four puppies, not that much. Um, I'm, uh, I'm deleting random stuff. I could have equipped that, but it doesn't really matter because oh, I'm not, oh, no pretzel is very important. I don't want to throw away any pretzel in my life. Uh, still some stuff. Yeah, lanterns. I haven't used it. It feels very uh, well unnecessary. Little fabric. It's okay. So uh, yeah, now I uh, I'm okay. Maybe a few beers and less, yeah, because beers are very heavy. Okay, so now there are all my stuff on the floor, and and now uh, we are going to <laughs> continue our quest. We are going to stare at our stuff, and then we are going to continue. And there is Shores and he is uh, in a state of... Uh, he doesn't know what happened, right? 
Yeah, awesome. So, <laughs> where was I? Oh, okay. I need I need to to ask. Uh, okay. So now I go to the place where he uh, been. Uh, Katie. Uh, what can I do for you, Mr. Townsman? Uh, uh, Katie should help a little, but yes, also sell few stuff first. Maybe I should have done that, that I just realized and I was like, oh, I have so much stuff. Oh well, um, money at this moment is not that important and I have quite a lot of money, so I guess I just waste a lot of money. But now I'm just trying to get some money for my uh, awesome stuff. Okay. So let's go to the location. Uh, I think this is the best uh, way. This lady is still not communicating with me. Mm, this door is still not opening. <laughs> and uh, well. And, oh, whoa, there was an NPC that just randomly just tried to uh, tackle me. <laughs> Hello, Mayor. Oh, I haven't to told you yet. Oh, so Schmidt, that's a load of my mind. Yeah. Good work. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the Leah, like the uh, teacher, is, uh, still But I was afraid of that. We can't let ourselves be intimidated by a couple of strolling revolutionaries. Mm -hmm. We'll be ready. I can assure you, they'll be in for a surprise. Yeah. If you still want to contribute to the clarification of the case, you must hurry before it finally breaks here. I must call a meeting of the vigilance immediately. Hmm. Okay, well, nice. Uh, there was a bit of a distraction. We just need to continue here. There is... Uh, well, a, a, a smith I cannot talk, talk with. And um, yes. Hello, Valentin. Apollonia. Yes. If you don't want to interrupt, why do you do it? <laughs> You're the guy from the city, right? The one walking around asking questions. Yeah, that's my. That's me. That's only me. Sure, know him. Whoever told you that, unfortunately, wasn't talking nonsense. What did he do this time? Well, I can imagine he has gaps. He probably doesn't remember anything. Hmm. Unfortunately, I Staying am Staying silent gives the most information. <laughs> what kind of a relationship that is? Not a very decent one, I would say. Oh, no oh, information is Maybe you don't know. No, oh, my. Maybe one day. Even a blind man. Okay. Yes. Well, George came during the night. Well, he was with me. No one came that night, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I have the information. You're right about that. Better than nothing. But that night I was already sick of it, I have to be honest. Men have no idea about some things. It doesn't matter. Let's see if it works anyway. <laughs> That's exactly what George said. I'm sure you're wondering what's the deal with George and me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When it started, he was so romantic. My nice choice. <laughs> he said he would marry me if he had the money. Nothing but empty words, I tell you. Only lies and deceit. He often treats me like a... like a whore. Imagine that. Well, in the beginning it was all very different. He made an effort. Once we went for a walk in the forest, down by the river. We were so in love that we didn't even make it home, you know. And once, we even went to Munich together. George had some business there and he took me with him. That was quite an experience. And lately, you won't believe this, he only comes over at night. Mm. But now he only shows up in the middle of the night when he's really drunk. Okay. Yes, but different. I was already quite angry with him. Because he's always like that with me now, so I said to myself, No, I said to myself, you won't let him in again. I won't stand for that. I'm telling you. 
And then he put on quite a show outside, throwing stones at my window, <laughs> shouting over and over again. He woke up the entire neighborhood, the drunken fool. Then I opened the window and told him to go away, and he needn't come back. Then there was silence, for the time being. As I lay in bed again, I hear a rustling, and a moaning, and a knocking. I thought to myself, what is going on? I look out the window again, and there's Shosh, standing on a ladder. He had flowers in his mouth. He's holding on to the ladder with great difficulty. Everything's shaking. I could already see him fall back over. So I helped him in. He handed me the damn flowers with a drunken grin on his face. He wanted to kiss me too, but I have to tell you, he stank like a whole distillery. <laughs> I told him he couldn't stay. He had to go home and wanted to push him out the door. He said he had something else with him and pulled a bottle of wine out of the back of his trousers. I put the flowers and the wine on my table and said, I think maybe he's had enough wine and he should leave now. Then I opened the door for him. But he turns around and goes back to the window. I ask him what he's doing. He says I wanted him to walk away. I said, yes, walking, not flying. He says he's only leaving the way he came and is already hanging one leg out the window. Then I grabbed him by the jacket and told him not to be stupid. He'll break his neck drunk as he is. Come back inside, I said. And so he went back inside. And to be honest, at some point, the discussion about whether it was the window or the door was too stupid for me. I was also tired. Mm. I told him to lie down and be quiet. He could stay the night. But do you think he would have given up? That womanizer. All the time he was running his cold hands under my nightgown talking rubbish. And all I really wanted was to sleep. When you have a man in your bed already and he tells you things like that, well, sometimes it's urgent. So well, at least we know now what and the then jacket I get and away the button with the has, idiot, you well, see, the story of the nothing jacket. works, nothing at all. Dead in the water, you know. I think the situation made him uncomfortable. He said I should only wait a little while, but after the first little while I've had enough to be honest. What an ass, really. And then the night was already over and the shouting about land started outside. That's when I threw him out and his stupid flowers right after him. No, he left it here, the stupid fool. I'll give it to you right away. I'm Apollonia, by the way. So we have his jacket. Mm, but Valentin, can I ask you something else about George? Because you've already met him. Hmm. Oh, that was very fast. I, I told her that he's okay. Okay, let's go back to George. But first I want to claim my skill points. Uh, oh, how common now is uh, minus two and now it's eight. Okay, that's a bit bad. You don't get that mechanic though, but uh, I guess it's okay. So, here we go back to shores. Um, this is maybe a bit of a walk. I, well, maybe the next one I skip. <laughs> So it's a big back and forth uh, between those two until uh, we have uh, like the whole story. But uh, it's a cute story. I really like it. It's uh, it's almost a cute little love story. Valentin, you really are something else. I don't believe it. But tell me right away, do I have anything to do with Lance? My dear, now I'm reassured. Honestly, true? Thank you for helping me. I really owe you one. Yeah, you do. I hated the drunken crap. Apollonia? <laughs> yes, she's quite a beauty. And she's nice too. She's got an appetite, Valentin. You don't see that very often. That's amazing! Well, I like her. But you know, I can't offer her anything. Things aren't what they used to be. 
I can hardly sleep anymore. Well, the beer helps, but otherwise, when it's suddenly quiet and dark, then I hear them screaming. Suddenly, I'm right back in the middle of it again. In the war. Blood everywhere. But I also... No, Valentin. I can't tell you. You know, sometimes I even see them. Sometimes when I wake up, he sits there in my room on the chair and looks at me. But he says nothing. Never. Just looks. He's such a young man. Almost a boy. And the blood everywhere. I almost pee my pants every time. It scares me so much. And maybe I'm losing my mind too. I really don't know. But that's not a clever man. I'm not a clever man anymore. And now, uh, uh, she should find someone better. But somehow she doesn't do that. Once she said she really liked me. So I asked myself if I should say something. I mean, should I tell her about it? Why I can't sleep and all that? Yeah, dude, come on. Oh my gosh, this is just... <laughs> Oh, silly. Okay, so we are going to randomly fix his marriage. Um, yeah, okay. I'm just trying this path. It seems to be shorter, so that's great. Um, yeah, there he is. Uh, no, that's not her. There she is. Apollonia. Okay. Hello, Valentine. What brings you here? Well, I'm saving your uh, relationship. So, what do you think? Oh my, poor Shorsh. It's terrible, all this with the war. One can't imagine what it does to people. But thank you, really, Valentin. You're one of the good ones. But, Valentin, just between you and me, what do you think? Is it all just fun for Shorsh, or is he serious about us? Well, I think, think he's uh, so? very serious. Yes, uh, it could be something with Shorsh. Oh, thank you. Honestly. Then I only have to take care of one other thing. Because I'm expecting. But I can't imagine all that right now. Maybe later with Shorsh, but not right now, no. Wait, she's bad. The thing is, I just can't do it now, married or unmarried. Maybe you can't really understand it. Mm, how can I explain this to you? Well, there was some yeah. intercourse. It's not always right to have a child. Often the timing is bad. Sometimes the right time may never come. But I don't know that for myself. I just know that it's not right at the moment. And I have to be able to decide for myself what happens to my body and my life. Don't I? At least that's what I think. That's why I made this decision. Of course I know about the consequences. I'm not that naive. I know many stories of women who have not survived such a decision. The despair, the fear, the pain and the blood. I've seen it myself, Valentin. If that is the price I have to pay, I will do that. I will not be a broken mother who hates her child. And I will not be a bad mother who gave up her child. Before I die in childbirth, I'd rather die in abortion. But, you know, yeah, okay. that is not how it has to be. With a doctor, I could survive the operation. He has the necessary means, and he can save me if something goes wrong. But I could never ask him. The whole place would know about it. If you talk to the doctor, no one here would think anything of it. You can help me. You can ask him. You're my best chance. Will you help me, Valentin? Please. Yeah, for sure. We go to the doctor, ask the doctor Thank if you, he uh, Honestly, can uh, help you her. You help me save my life. If you don't talk to the doctor, I'd go to Resi in the woods. No one knows how that would end. But if you ask Schweighöfer... That's all fine. Then maybe he'll help me. Unfortunately, I have to... Thank you, Valentin. Okay, well, we know exactly what, need, what we need to do. We go to the doctor. Um, well, most likely there's a new quest. And then uh, we can continue. 
No. Mayor, do you have something new? Uh, I just decided to take a different path. Um, yeah. There are many ways to the doctor. Uh, it was not the shortest way though, but that, that doesn't really matter that much. Here he is. Please help us. What is it about? Is she... Oh, that sounds worrying. What is it about and how can I help? Of course, this is an extremely unfortunate situation. As far as I know, however, I have absolutely nothing to do with it. Come you would on. think so, yes. So you just come walking down the street and ask me on the public streets in front of everyone's eyes and ears if I can perform an illegal abortion, I should probably give you a thorough examination. <laughs> you have ideas. And you obviously haven't yet realized that here every bush, every stone knows immediately about everything and everyone. This damned place! Excuse me, please. This is indeed not an easy situation. I can imagine that it puts a strain on her, and I must admit, I think it's good that she is seeking help instead of doing something stupid. Yeah, see, Abortion should not help. be taken lightly. A lot can go wrong. Unfortunately, I only have very limited options here. In the city, it would be completely different. And mm. as I said, it's not legal either. I won't have to explain that to you. I'm taking a big risk by helping you both. I'm risking my own head with this. However, an abortion on your own is almost a death sentence for the young woman. And now that you have told me about the matter, I cannot let her run into misfortune. I should at least fulfill my medical obligation. What kind of doctor would I be if I didn't even try to save at least this one life? Probably not one who deserves his license to practice medicine. Yeah, Very exactly. well. Under the circumstances, I am willing to help you. But it's not for free. If they find out, we will both feel the pinch. Yes, um, mm. unfortunately, that's not enough. Come back when you've got the money. Oh, okay. Now it is finally makes sense to have money. Okay, let's uh, sell my random stuff. Let's see if I have a lot of stuff. I just threw away a lot of my stuff, but I guess uh, I can still sell quite a lot. Let's go to my favorite market lady, Katie. Now at this moment I really know the city or the village out of my head. It's very easy to navigate. Um, let's, uh, There is Kitty. Wow. Oh yeah. Hey, here's my stuff. Yes, yes. Oh, I am so smart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I'm walking super slow. It didn't make so much sense. Bear with me, but I just want to sell all this stuff, and then I have enough money for sure because this is a lot of stuff. Oh, see me, almost floating. What? Please, take all my stuff. Everything. Um, I keep a mushroom. Bit of a beer. And, um, Yes, I have enough. Perfect. So now I can go back here. Yeah, 200 was enough. Yes, let's go back to the doctor, give him his money, and let him do the surgery. Do you have the money for the treat? 
Yes, that's enough. Tell Apollonia she can come to my place tomorrow evening around 10 o'clock. But tell her to be careful. Uh, perfect. So now just go back to up, up. He called her openly the bit different way. Apollonia is right or Apollonia? Oh, uh, something in that uh, way of pronunciation. to spoil a lot, but this is going to be a different Hello, outcome than you think. <laughs> really? Okay, I spoiled it. Valentin, that's a lot of my chest, honestly. What did he say? That's a big load of my chest. Yes. I was so afraid, but then maybe everything will go well in the end. I'm sincerely grateful to you for everything, no matter what happens. Yes, okay. Let's check our next objective, which is a bit unclear. Oh yeah, I need to... Okay, so this is uh, Polonia stuff. And then we have the curse of the farmer, who still has those um, 10 poppies. What happened between Schwarz and Polonia? I thought I already fixed it. Okay, let's uh, talk to Shosh. <laughs> there was the NPC uh, doing strange stuff. Oh, I'm not telling him anything. Okay, hmm. Okay, uh, Katie. What can I do for you, Mr. Tom? You Tom? have nothing new, okay. So let's go to the teacher, I think. Oh, there was a drunken man. Oh, and there was an NPC going back to his starting position. <laughs> Oh, oh wow, okay. Yes. Let's tell the teacher that Shorsh is not the murderer. Can you? What evidence do you have for your claim? <laughs> well, uh, how should I say this? Um, yeah, he's a woman, I think. I see. Oh, I, I was nice. And I see that you are a gentleman. Neat, Mr. Schmidt. But the killer, he is still at large. He is just waiting for the yeah, moment yeah, to yeah. murder one just of us. Have a we little will patience. not wait until he shows his ugly face. Okay. Yeah. Patience. You have a point. Maybe wow. you can achieve more than we can. Feel free to ask around more. I think a thank you is in order. I wrongly suspected Schwarz, and you saved me from making a terrible mistake. We are all workers. Insofar as we only have the will to make ourselves useful in some way to mankind. That's what La Salle says. And you? You seem to be one of us. You should question all those who were involved in the dispute. One of them must have done it. I don't believe that the priest gets his hands dirty himself. Then it could only have been Alois. He has such a short fuse anyway. Totally jaded. He's capable of something like that. Hmm. Question him. Ask him if he has an alibi. And don't let Ursula keep you away from him. You'll see right away ah, that he has what it takes to be a murderer. 
I already approached, but uh, I didn't have enough uh, information. The Pfister farm is located in the south of the village. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I know. Let's uh, go to the next quest. But uh, I learned to fast travel, so uh, this shouldn't be a hard task at all. Let's go to the farm. Yes. Okay. Alois. Tell me your story. I don't understand what you want from me. Are you asking if I've slain Lenz? Who sent you? Leubel the Bettwetter? He's the only one here in town who thinks he's smart enough and at the same time stupid enough to accuse me of such nonsense. He'd better put his books aside and come out onto the field. Okay, then I know he wants his to have the or is strict way of handling him. Last time I also used it. So please stick to the point, man. You know what really gets on my nerves? Many fine clothes who want to interfere in the lives of the villagers. I get through the day quite well on my own. I don't need the talk of upheaval. And the Lord said, if you don't feed the donkey, it will run a few more steps. And then it will die. Okay, that's that is a not strange book, phrase. But perhaps it should be written there. Then the pompous donkey would also consider on whose shoulder he is laying his fine table. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't want to disturb you, but come on, just give me all the information. Okay, let's go. No. Okay. I'm not going to let you tell me when to answer something. First, pass away. How you say that? He died a miserable death with his head in the dirt like a mangy dog. Just as I say. I went straight home from the pub and packed the crates for the market with Ursula. Like every evening. The farmer has to get up early in the morning, so everything has to be ready in the evening. The crates with the stuff for the market. Groceries, that is. Hmm. The greats with the stupid questions have already gone. Or maybe you saw them somewhere, Mr. Investigator. Okay. If you're looking for witnesses for your stupid reports, then ask Ursel. She's in the field. Or Friedel, our farmhand. He's at the market. Oh, and Mr. Townsman. Tell me how your investigation turned out. I already hear it from all directions. A farmer in Wolpertshofen did his job. And you figured it out. Respect, Mr. City Dweller. There sure will be a promotion in for you, right? And I'll get lost. Okay, okay. Um, let's go to uh, find Frido. And then uh, maybe come a bit closer. Um, wait, this is his wife. She is was... there a... What do you want from Alois? No, I just want to get the truth. Yes, of course he did. Alois has to fulfill his duties. Okay, Hashmet. so and at could least you tell Alibi, me Alibi was, uh, What are you doing, right? sneaking around my farm? Are you looking for something? I well, think I'm look missing somewhere else. Uh, some of the information to... Is uh, there anything a else? ...better conversation with this lady. Okay, let's find Fido. Um, yep. Yeah. He's in the market. And then we maybe can also double check uh, the crates. Oh, this lady, she really loves me. <laughs> okay, not at all. Charlotte Rupp. Fort Danish Frido with uh, random stuff, yes. But three, Frido! How can I help to. Look, 
This is not a good time at all. The goods have to come off the stand and I have to make another delivery. Okay. He's come to ask me to carry his eggs. Oh, oh. Okay. What do you say? Do you yeah. want to kill me? I, I just want information, man. No hard feelings. Hmm, this is my game I don't need it. No. Listen, I take care of the goods here at the stand, and you quickly make the delivery. Then I will have my head free afterwards and time for your questions. Because the delivery would be really important now. Very important, so to speak. Okay, okay. These 10 eggs have to go to one of the lumberjacks in the forest near Pfistner Farm. They need a good meal for their hard work. They passed by here fully loaded, so they didn't have a hand free. Apparently, they have even lost some of the wood. The best would be to look for the wood that is lying around everywhere. Yeah, I already make sure found you don't them, break any so that shouldn't be an issue. If even one shell is cracked, the old lady will come with a stick. An unpleasant person. <laughs> yes, really? I'm not sure yet. But now you better hurry. The delivery is late anyway. Here are the eggs. Good luck. Alright, uh, I'm going on a hurry. Yeah, I'm on a hurry. Um, okay. Not, uh, not break any eggs at this moment. Fast forward to the cutters. It seems mm, what is closer, I guess. The no, it's not. <laughs> it's not here. Well, there is a woodcutter on the other side. Maybe I, I can also give him an egg. Let's try that. Because that woodcutter is close away. Oh, there's a puppy. Oh, that's always nice that you find your stuff that you need to find when you are not searching for it. Mm -hmm. There are woodcutters. Oh, it's only one. Okay. Hello? You want some eggs? Okay, here. Enjoy. Ah, I did my delivery, I think. Yes. I don't have any eggs anymore. That's great. And I also... Yeah. Let's go back. Freedom, Freedom, give me what I want. <laughs> yeah, that's closest by to the market. Uh, the church, yes. Okay, this was an easy fetch quest. Can I help today? By God, that's very good. For you, that might only be 10 eggs, but for me, they truly mean the difference on the farm. Okay. All right, I'll stick to my agreements too. Don't worry, now we finally come to your questions. What do you want to know? Well, I want to know if the farmer is right. And um, 
and that he has nothing to do with the murder. Um. As it happens, I can, yes. Alois always has to be home early. His wife, Ursula, would never allow the market goods not to be ready in time. Okay, that seems... Once okay. Alois was at the cemetery, tending the family grave and came home when Ursula already had the crates in the hallway. That was big trouble, I tell you. The way Alois' mood has been for the last few years, I won't even be surprised if he would just beat up someone to death like that. But in the end, there's always Ursula. She already has a firm grip on the fate of the farm. And with that, Alois as well. Okay. So he seems sure. to also I can say be not a conscience that Alois was there. What did it now? Mm. Yeah, this is a bit uh, too easy. Let's get some more information. Ooh. Oh, I have my alchemy is very high. Um, yes, yes. Yes, Valentin. You're right. I have to get something off my chest. Well, say no. it. Not now. I suggest you get back to me when you have clarified Alois' concerns. Just let's go to Alois and check what he's up to. Okay. So, Alois, what is your stuff? Yeah, all of your stuff. This is all a load of bollocks! And now, you go back to where you came from, like a good boy, and give a nice greeting from the working people. Yeah, we have one never question left. being a pain in the ass! Oh, yeah, I know that one. Isn't that the button from... Yeah? Mister, don't bust my balls any longer! You know everything you want to know about me, so leave me alone now! I have no idea where that damn button came from. Have a nice day. Okay. This is... Oh, and I'm missing information here. Wow. Okay. Go back to Frito and uh, check with him. I guess so. Mm. Okay. Mm, the mushrooms. Uh, hmm. This seems to be going almost nowhere, but maybe. Well, Rito, please help me. How can I help today? I am not quite sure now whether I should really tell you everything. Please talk. Come on. Yeah, there's a bit of empathy here. Please talk with me. Oh, okay. You are going to talk with me. Well, uh, you're not. Okay, empathy is not working. This carries a burden that not all shoulders are meant to bear. Mm. I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk now. <gasps> oh, if I had the right dice throwing, then maybe... Oh, what he doesn't want to continue. Oh, this is painful. Okay. Let's do the other quest. Uh, we had the Shun and Polonia. Oh, maybe now checking with the teacher if he has something new. Um, yeah. Let's do this. So, hey, let us better. Uh, hmm. Seems to be nothing here. Okay, let's uh, check with uh, the teacher. Maybe uh, he's going to start. A, maybe he started this revolution right now. So we need to uh, hold him back, or um, maybe he found something. That would be nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What? Oh yeah. Oh, of course. I was I need so to, uh, sure. Tell him. Since there's really is, uh, only fine. one left, yeah. the priest himself. I don't believe it. 
But he's been acting so strange and lately now there anyway. Is some clashes Who knows what because times have changed. There are forces that would like to have the absolute the monarchy back again. Any means will do. Who knows who this quack might have fallen in with. I couldn't imagine it, but you can't rule anything out. Uh, it can't hurt if you simply ask what else he did that evening. Okay, well, maybe this is a short conversation with the priest, but it is getting complicated because, well, the information is not accurate. Um, and, well, we already had almost all the conversations with the priest. Okay, so this is the point that I kind of continue uh, with the game because uh, we are going to circle around uh, some of the stuff. But this is what I wanted to show, what I played before. Well, before I had the interview, the interview will be uploaded soon as well. Uh, I hope you enjoy and there will be also a new version of this game. And that will be very interesting. A deadly so sin? I am uh, very you looking forward to it and then maybe I can play it again and we'll have a better experience. Although this was a nice experience, uh, I feel that I kind of start to find out more stuff and um, well, it is a long game in that, that way because well, uh, if, you, if you do it in a different order, it is a long game. Um, but well, I... Uh, figured out some stuff and I feel that I'm getting almost like most of the clues already so uh, yeah it's interesting I still wonder what really happened so um, I'm going to uh, walk away and um, I'm going to close this uh, let's play so uh, see you in the next one bye bye